Yeah, what the heck? Got you there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Dave's on the video. Sorry for the delay. What? Oh, really? Oh, wow. Jeez. So it's reading right now? The numbers match? Oh, okay. Well, very good. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Now that we figured that out, are we ready to get moving, or how are you feeling? All right. Well, he so, keeps pointing uh, at rocks, so I don't know. If we're gonna um, rocks I don't think we're going to want one here. They're too sedimented. Okay. But we're coming up on a slope, so there should be better rocks in a few hundred meters. Up on a slope. About 20 meters. French now. Can we get a 20 meter move at 350? Tammy came running back in. <laughs> For anyone tuning in, uh, we're just figuring out our next plan, yeah. and we'll be with you soon. So, where are the powder is, uh, perks leading the way up? Yeah, great, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't see one. I think he lost his water bottle. You had this, like, not in real time. It was looking into the past. <laughs> 
time warp. <laughs> we had to change. He had to change the time. It was like way wrong. Yeah. Huh. No, it was like I was going over here. I'm like, <laughs> and I look over there, and it's like he had 17, and I had 11. <laughs> That ain't cool. That's a definite gotcha. Maybe it rolled way into the back of the counter somewhere. I don't see it back there, though. He's losing his marbles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to keep us moving yeah. if that's okay with you, Bob. Huh? I'll keep us moving. Yeah, yeah, keep trucking. All We're right. good. It's not that steep. Bridge nav. Can we do another 20 meter move at 350? This is too slippery, Jake. <laughs> I need the other kind of pads. It's a lot of complaints going on up there. <laughs> That's, you gotta give me it's a, a lot break, of complaints here. going on up there. <laughs> hey, Nev. Yes? So the uh, pass down I got was, um, yeah, point no, f no faster than point 0.3 uh, on our steps uh, as we ascend. And... Uh, if you wanted to try 100 meter steps, that could, apparently those have been working, but 20 meters fine, we'll see, okay. you know. But yeah, I like the setup here with Herc uh, leading the way up slope. This yeah, I thought we'd just get us moving as everybody settled okay. in Good. before we, just we make don't any wanna, yeah, large. We don't want to <laughs> With our Grafana readout issue, I thought we'd bank. just take yeah. a chill for a moment. So up we go. Mm -hmm. We, we just keep up. the steps. Just keep going. Yeah. But, well, uh, yeah. In, you know, as you're getting near the next step, then keep. Trucking. Yeah, the next yeah. one. Yeah. So we don't come to a stop. Right. <coughs> I think we're probably still going to see a bunch of sediment for a little while, so we can make larger jumps. Okay. As long as. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred meters probably will will work. Okay. As long as the sonar doesn't indicate something different. But yeah. Argus shows a few. And we're looking for a rock in this area, right? <laughs> yes. Any rock, a rock for you, or a rock for Amber, or just whatever we see? Yeah, either. Either works. Great. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> There's a lot of people commenting in on those uh, tube-looking objects that were seen a few hours ago. We don't know what they are. <laughs> I, I didn't see them, so I can't tell you. I really yeah. don't know what they are. Same. <laughs> <laughs> missed that. Tube objects. Were they in the... There was like it? three of them. It was some it looked like some type of debris, but nobody oh. knew what they were. Oh, you, the garbage? Yeah. yeah. But they were all the same looking, just in different locations. Yeah, we're still wondering the same thing. We don't know what what those are, where they came from. Yeah, it's not biology. It's not my house. <laughs> well, there's a cute little anemone in there. Want to zoom in? Right by the lasers. Good eyes, good eyes. Oh, it actually might be a cup coral. Yeah, it's oh. a cup coral. Cup coral. It's hard to tell from far away, but you zoom in, you can actually see the the skeleton inside the tissue. So it's a uh, sclerotinian coral, so related to the shallow water corals. So it has a calcium carbonate skeleton, and it's a single polyp. And it looks like there's a little polychaete on it too. 
You want to zoom in with the 4K, Dave? Hmm. Not me. Or somebody. The uh, Let me see here. The 4K person? Right. Let me see what I'm looking at. Zoom, okay. Uh, where is the... Ah. Sorry. It's, I can't just the position of that guy without driving. So yeah. That might be... Trying to coordinate two cameras is uh, right. harder. Bridge now. <laughs> so do we want to try to get oh, a shot ooh, of that? Oh, there's something. There's something to move. Yeah. yeah. Of some sort. Yeah. yeah. Little critter down there. Oh, yeah. And well, did you take a picture? Do you want me uh, to look? How do you? Did you take one? I, I don't take it. I zoom. Um, okay. Yeah, you tell me when to take it. Okay, video. Uh, stand by. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure I'm logging this right. <laughs> we testing the 4K again? Yeah. Test. I'll back out a little bit here. See if we can get in on this pilot key. Let's ch try a shot of that video. It's a really pretty color. Very interesting. Okay, thing. 4K done. You got it? Yes. Thank you. It looks like like there's two parts to it. Huh. It's weird. Oh. oh. That's as far in as I can here. go. Okay. And now I'll back no. out. Yeah. Do you feel like you have extra power when you have control over <laughs> the 4K <laughs> camera? <laughs> That was a good test. And now I know where I'm looking for the 4K image. <laughs> Are we still zoomed in on the... Pardon me. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can zoom in a little bit, Dave. Yep. Pass this. So I'm. That's fully zoomed out. Oh, oh no, there's something. Yeah. There what's the, the spiky on thing? On the left. The corner. Oh yeah. Which spiky thing? Ooh. Oh, left we just corner. went over it. Yeah. Uh, isn't that more of the same? <laughs> no, that's something different. <laughs> yeah, that thing right there. Oh, uh, down there. Whoop. Backing up is gonna throw some dirt up, but. You looking at where the lasers just crossed over? Yeah. You want to zoom in on that, Dave? Ooh, hmm. what is that? Yeah. See, this looks like an anemone. It's so alien. I'd say anemone. Yeah. It's really weird. I've never seen one quite like this one. It's, yeah. It's very. Wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks Wide. really like splat, yeah. splatty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's cool though. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So those those uh, lasers are ten centimeters apart, which is about four inches. This is a good decent Pretty, size yeah, anemone. Good size. Get a lot of pictures. <laughs> yep. It's so cool. It's like yeah, that one's definitely new. It's going in the guide. Yeah, new one. Very cool. You want 4K on it too? Yeah, let's see if we can line that up. We're doing 4K on this too? Yeah. Okay, Dave, let's see if we can get this shot. Oh, there we go. Got it? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Moving on. Cool. And we're still stepping. Yep, yeah, I called in a 100 meter move. We're just move. doing continuous steps. Yeah. Well, that's oh, nice. Did it did 100? It, yeah, I did okay. 100. All right. It looks like a good speed right. for uh, <laughs> being able to stop and zoom. I'm watching that sonar. It's all good. Okay. All right. Might find some rocks over on the left there. Yeah.
Yeah, these look like dusty rocks. They're too dusty. There's a little well, sea star. It's a bit of a wall, though, <laughs> it looks like. Oh, the, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a... This I is a wall here. You think it's a wall or a rock? Yeah, just it's a yeah. boulder. I can see. Pretty hard. Oh, yeah. I can see it is. Yeah, okay. uh, it's probably far enough left. <laughs> This looks like some rock that Amber would be interested in. Yeah. I don't know if it might be possible to break something off or find something around here. Well, let's see. Just outcrop there. Doubtful we'll break something off of this. Yeah, that looks pretty <laughs> robust. Look, look for something that tumbled to the base, maybe. Uh, you don't know if it's attached or was attached back yeah. in the day. Do you want me to look for something intact that's grabbable? Sure. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> or potentially grabbable. We're not going to have a lot of time to try it out, though. I don't see anything loose. Yeah, everything looks pretty attached here. There's a muted Got a crab on there. Yeah. Yep, good eye. That is a crab. Where is it? I don't even see what you're looking I at. Yeah, I don't even see anything. If you look uh, that downward looking, it's a white crab. <laughs> you guys have much better eyesight than me, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I already now. knew my eyesight was going, but... <laughs> if you look at the bottom screen, that little white blob at the bottom right corner. Okay. Like, yeah, bottom we're kind right. of at the top of this yeah, now. Oh. Yeah. Probably should have worn my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been helpful. <laughs> To some viewers wondering uh, why our pictures are not showing up on the website for this watch, uh, I'm not sure. It's set up too, so um, I will find out from our short side team why the 8 to 12 at night watch doesn't want to show up on the site. Uh. I know, but we'll get that adjusted. We were there during the day, um, but for some reason it's not showing up. So I'll oh. talk to our webmaster and see what's going on. Yeah, we are here. Yeah, you guys are missing out. We're a really attractive watch. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what's this? We will give introductions shortly, since you can't see our faces. All right, well, we're off of that. If you go to channel three, you can see some of our faces. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> While well, we look for a rock, uh, I'll introduce myself first. I'm Kelly Moran. I'm out as comms lead here, um, but when I'm not on Nautilus, I am the education program coordinator for the Ocean Exploration Trust. Um, hailing from Connecticut, so quite a distance from where we are now, um, but excited to be here. And uh, my co comms lead uh, on this cruise did the morning watch, so I'm happy to sit in tonight on this watch. And Emil Petroncio sitting in as watch lead tonight, um, expedition leader for the cruise. And when I'm not on Nautilus, I'm just lost. I'm just. <laughs> 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 what do, do I do? 
Hi, I'm an adjunct professor at the Ann Arundel Community College, teach some oceanography there, and I work with the American Meteorological Society on um, teacher education in oceanography. I'm Coralie Rodriguez. I'm sitting in the science seat. I'm a grad student at the University of Rhode Island. This is Leilani Sablon sitting on the data logger seat. Uh, this is my first time sailing with EV Nautilus. I'm an ocean science intern. Um, when I'm not a Nautilus, I am a master's student at the University of Guam Marine Lab. In the front row sitting navigation, this is Megan Putz. Uh, when I'm not on Nautilus, I work at the University of Hawaii with the ROV Luukai and also annotating video from dives like this one. Yeah, I'm uh, Robert Waters. I'm the Herc pilot on the 8 to 12s, and I'm an OET employee and live in LA and run the, our shore facility, and I'm an ROV engineer when I'm not out here. I'm uh, Jake Bonney, sitting in the Argus seat. I'm from Rhode Island, and I uh, went to the University of Rhode Island for uh, ocean engineering. And when you're not out here? Uh, when I'm not out here, I'm just with Emil. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> We're just wandering the East Coast. <laughs> you adopted a cat. <laughs> I got, got, got well, a cat. Me and my cat are lost. <laughs> I'm uh, Dave Robertson, I'm the video lead for this expedition, and I'm uh, uh, sitting in the video seat here, running the cameras. Uh, when I'm not on Nautilus, I'm uh, either in Anchorage, Alaska, visiting my family, uh, especially my 13-year-old granddaughter, uh, and I'm also remodeling a house on the coast of Oregon, in Florence, Oregon, so we go back and forth between those two places. Cool. No rocks. Not yet. Not no. yet. Hopefully the night soon. is young, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> we just got here. <laughs> and then we are at twenty-nine fifty. Now, can we get another 100 meter move 350? Just more of the same for a while, huh? Yeah, it's going to be like this for a little while. There's a sea cucumber. Hello, friend. <laughs> All by himself. <laughs> yeah. Itself. Is that black line something? Is that a fish on the. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. It is a fish. You got it. I was like thinking it might be a fish. We have a question about the uh, marks on the seafloor that we saw a lot of before um, that looked like uh, whale scours. Does anyone know much about them and could talk about it? What kind of whales they might be or if they were actually. Were from whales? Were there was depressions yeah. seen on the last watch? Yeah. Someone's asking about them, if we have any info about them. This would be really, this would be uh, pretty deep. Let's see, what's, uh, Herc is at 29. Yeah, uh, so I believe the deepest dive, we talked about this um, on our last watch, was uh, Cuvier's beaked whale has been documented to dive to 3,200 meters. So. Wow. Um, this would be, that would be close to record yeah, setting. Yeah, it's quite deep. Oh, oh, it's a tripod fish. Usually they're much higher up off the seafloor. Yeah. He's so skinny. He's very skinny. But yeah, no, it's a, it's a tripod fish. Huh. So, Bathy Tearaway. Oh, oh. oh there he goes. He knows we're talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're related to lizard fishes. So they're uh, ambush predators. They are good at those fast spurts of movement to 
you know, escape ROVs or to capture play. So when they're on their tripods, they're using these modified fins to guide food into their So it's when I bumped the, the bottom, he took off. Yeah. He wasn't disturbed by our noise or oh, no. lights or anything he else. He heard us talking They don't have it. very good vision, but they definitely sense their surroundings. Yeah. It was but bumping the bottom, like that's what sent him flying. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, something big's coming for me. <laughs> Did you expect to see so much sediment on this dive? <laughs> no. There's a lot. You kind of just want <laughs> <laughs> to... To get to the rocks underneath. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're yeah, well, we are pretty close to Palmyra, and so you get a lot of sediment coming off the toll. What's that there? We're also on the lee, so usually see a little more sedimentation on these types of areas. Mm. But we've got to be over here so that we have nice weather for diving. Yeah. This has been really nice today to get a good dive in. So even at Kingman, you know, we saw those, for that brief dive, we saw the uh, ripples in the sediment and uh, Steve was uh, speculating that's foraminifera shells mostly uh, so it's very cool. productive water yeah it's a cool edge to this rock oh area. yeah is that loose no <laughs> <laughs> it just looks cool <laughs> 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 like, that would be it that, that's all you can sample We don't have any pillow crusts or nodules sticking out there. Yeah, unfortunate. I feel like the anticipation is building for something. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're actually going up this little local high, so I feel like as we get to the steeper slopes, it'll get a little more interesting. It's a bit steeper here. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. The lines are getting closer together. There's a Nevada Carsana shrimp that we just went over. Oh, a shrimp. Some More shrimp. shrimp. Yeah, another shrimp. This is a different shrimp. It's uh, in the family Aristeidae. 
could be a ceratospis, but have to get a really nice look at it. Did you want to get a nice look oh, at no. it? Oh, no. That's good. <laughs> I mean, I would have to get, like, close enough to see the spines. Oh. Wow. I don't think the shrimp will cooperate. Yeah. Jake or Bob, we have a good question for you. Um, how many pounds can Herc lift, both arms versus a single arm? So, like, how much can one arm lift versus, like, if you used both arms to pick something up, how much would it pick? 200 pounds or so, I think, at full yeah. extension. And, and Mongo, the ISC arm on the left can lift more than the craft on the port side of Herc. We have the coral cutter jaws on, which aren't as strong as some of the other ones. It's not really, they're not really ideal rock grabbing jaws, but they're, uh, you need them for mm. getting coral samples. So it's kind of a compromise. Uh, yeah. Megan, a good question came in um, asking, is the ship moving while the ROVs are underway? Do you want to talk a little bit about kind of what you're doing in contact with the bridge and moving the ship with their vehicles? Sure, yeah. So we are in constant motion. It's kind of like a a deep sea dance that we're doing. My job is to coordinate the movements of the ship with the movements of the ROV. And so I'm a little bit of the go-between. I don't do the actual driving, but I'm kind of running the show here a little bit, making sure that the pilot knows what to expect um, in terms of terrain and letting the bridge know where we'd like to go. So. I will call up to the bridge, let them know how far we'd like to move, what speed and which direction. And they will input that information into our DP system, which will then move the ship to where we want to go. And then the pilot will be able to go along his way and uh, check out the bottom and zoom into things. Um, our Argus pilot will be able to monitor where we are too. So we're all of us in the front row are watching all of these camera feeds up here to make sure the vehicle is moving well along the seafloor and I can communicate with the bridge and let them know what we're doing. So that's a little bit of what I do up here. And uh, it's a pretty important job to keep everything coordinated and organized because, you know, when you're flying the vehicle, it's you have to focus on a lot of different things. And so just getting everything organized and moving all the time is important for our mission. So right now we're in the middle of a long 100 meter move. So the ship is moving and then Argus and uh, Hercules will follow behind. And because we are so deep, it actually takes a bit of time for that move to be felt down the wire at the bottom of the seafloor here. So you have to also take that into account as we are moving along. So say if we wanted to stop and sample, we're going to continue moving unless we stop the ship. Mm. Thank you. And to help with the navigation, uh, the, the mapping team collected some new data over this dive site last overnight. Um, just about, oh, three hours or so of, or three tracks uh, over our dive site to uh, an interesting Get cleaner data here. than what was existing. Yeah, it's definitely got an interesting texture. Would it be botryoidal? Yeah. It's <laughs> my favorite geology term right now. <laughs> There's something right there on the rock. Yeah. yeah. Um, crinoid, maybe? Yeah, it looks like a crinoid. Got it. Zoom in, Dave. Everybody's zooming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emma likes this controller. <laughs> oh, it's a good shot. Yeah, let's try that 4K shot. 4K. Here we go. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, Oops. Oh trying, to, trying to keep everything going here. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> a little tricky. Are we doing it? Maybe the Herc view is better. Are we not at 4K? Uh, uh, well, let's see here. If it's steady up, maybe. Let's try that, Dave. I can't land here. So. Yeah. It'll be a side shot with the 4K. Okay, done. Thank it's you. still good. You can see the uh, the pinules mm, yeah. and the Siri, those are those little legs that are attached to the rock. Yeah. Did you get it? Yep. Got the 4K. Yeah. That's a nice Herc view. We're kind of yeah. coming up gonna, on this, this cliff parallel. Because we're on a yeah. wall here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're parallel to it. So. <laughs> yeah, do you want to shorten our moves a little bit? <laughs> um. Uh, we can still sort of see over the top, so maybe we're all right. I'll just zip ahead a bit. But okay. Th I mean, we could be finding a potential rock candidate here somewhere. But yeah, it's yeah. getting close to that time, I think. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. It's not too big. It's a large Pretty rock. Big. <laughs> That's about. There's a small yeah. one, nice There's a small one right either. next to it, maybe. 20, 30 centimeters. A sponge. Nice sponge. sponge. Yeah. It's a hylonema corinonema. Oh my gosh. A rock like so that's, that's in just not attached to anything is okay? It's very yes. angular. Yeah, if it's angular, that'd be good for Amber's use. Okay. Uh, but we, we got to stop marching up this wall if we're going to be safe. Wow, look at all the brittle stuff. Yeah, this is the wall is There's a few more. That's a, right little, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a little. That's uh, a little tricky to settle yeah. in there. There's some rocks. Well, it's not the settling in. We're still trucking along, so yeah. Yeah. If you want to be rocking, uh, getting a rock, we need to quit trucking along. So. Yeah. What do you think, yeah, Carly? Yeah, our move is complete. Uh, we oh. are. All right. It's about gonna take 15 meters. Minutes to settle out. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, we that, that looked like a decent rock. Yeah. Uh, so let's yeah hold here and. Oh, See you want to try and go back to the same rock? Is that possible? That big one, that was too big. That okay. was too big. Yeah, that one yeah, was like, that was, yeah. big. <laughs> That's probably 40, 50 pounds of rock. No. All right, we'll keep our eye out around here. But yeah, th how about that proximity to that cliff, though? Was that, does that present a problem or? As long as we stop moving, yeah, be okay. I mean, it'd probably be better if we got something out in front of us instead of trying to go back. Yeah. We just need to not march so quick, or. Yeah, uh, we're not moving. The ship is not moving. Yeah. We've got about 50 meters to settle. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna keep moving for a while, 10 minutes or something. Yeah. Let's uh, let uh, Argus swing in, and and then maybe uh, Herc can start leading the way back up. But yeah, um, as long as they're holding that speed to maybe, let's try point two on those. Well, if you're doing 100 meter moves, it, you know, it gets way, yeah. way out in front. So if we're going to go for a sample, we got to make more discreet moves. Okay, yeah, we could start trying some, uh, maybe some 30 meter steps now, if, if, you know. Copy that. What are we looking at there? Bridge now. Can we make a 30 meter move 350? All right, well, we never settled out from the one, though. Yeah. It's going to take it, me a while to find a rock. It's not going to be a quick snatch and grab. Yeah, I think it, it's going to, we're going to need to move up a little bit more before we find a good one. Yeah, it looks pretty solid around here. Yeah. 
This, is this a pillow crust right here, though? Uh, could have been. There's a sea cucumber. <laughs> Bonk. Not very, not great. It's a cool shot, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a loose one. Yeah. Oh, those work there? Go down inside there? Yeah. Is that too uh, low? Yeah. It's yeah. a pretty hard grab. Yeah. Okay. These other ones are probably, they're probably rooted on the rock. They're not just sitting there. Yeah. Yeah. What about this one? No, uh, that's, that's, that's attached to all that other stuff. Pretty positive. We can try it. We got a second here. Yeah, oh, looks like a nice size load. if it's loose. <laughs> oh, but it's loose. <laughs> That's good. Do you mean the little one the next little to one yeah, the little one. it? Yeah, the little one in front of it. The, this yeah. little one here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's you moved it. Loose. It's yeah. That's that one. Off. Yep. Yeah. Good call, Corley. Yay. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. Please have angles. <laughs> yeah. Jay, can you try porch lights or something? See if we get better. Yeah. Light on the subject. Porch is on. Oh. Is that what we need? Is that okay? That looks pretty good. All right. Keeper. It's going yeah. On starboard box. Yeah. Uh, what do you say, Data? Starboard. Her first sample. Um, yeah, you can put it in starboard E. All right. Can you look over there, Jake? I can't see the arm. There you go. Sorry. Starboard E? Oh. Uh, yes. Box. Yeah. Yes, starboard E. Okay. It's a Thank little bitty rock, a great big box. Did I just drop it on the rim there? Yeah, I don't know. This is the one with the ferret for your. As if you are wondering why we keep saying 4K, uh, we're testing a new camera. Wait, we gotta get zip in here. So, for this dive, we're uh, randomly taking pictures of some critters or things we find interesting to test out this camera system to see how it does. Yeah, it should provide nicer, uh, better resolution than the screen grab of the Herc view. The Herc camera. Yep. So each person um, 
has a different kind of role to play when testing the camera. Um, so we kind of are talking to each other about when to either write it down or take a picture or zoom in. Um, but we'll be doing that occasionally uh, for each of the watches on this dive. Okay, so we're good on rocks for a while then? Uh, we can wait, um, but you know, <laughs> if we you see know, one. Because <laughs> I think we only have three rocks right now. Uh. Three, four, four rocks. So we have six more rocks that we need to collect. Okay. I mean, we don't need to, but why <laughs> wouldn't we, you know? Yeah. The time to do it. But we want to space them by depth. Yeah, I think uh, Steve wanted to space them out a little bit yeah. more. But so, yeah, that was 2,900 meters. I don't really need any more rocks past this, but um, I think Beth Orcutt could, or Amber could also. Mm -hmm. So for Amber, we want a nice angular one. Yeah. What does Beth need? Anything yeah. that's altered, so opposite of what, <laughs> opposite of what Amber wants. Great. Great. I, th I think as long as it's got crust, Beth will be happy. <laughs> happy. Uh, yeah. Uh, she's looking at the microbes in the crusts. So is she looking at them here and once the ship goes up to um, back up into Papahanao Makuke? Because she's on the next cruise for oh, yeah. that one yeah. too. She gave us a little uh, sheet with what to do with them. <laughs> little uh, quest she, and she, protocol. Yeah. What was the sample Sorry. number for that? Oh six. Oh six. Yes. Either Coralie or Leilani, someone's asking how many compartments does Hercules carry? Like if you were to take samples, how many boxes do we have to store samples in? Whoa. Yeah, so we have two forward boxes and um previously we we're using those oh wait. I something just saw cool. Something really Pretty cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Let's get the 4K, Dave. Aha. That's a wow. relicanthid. Yeah. Relicanthid. That's really cool. No. What's the common name for oh. that? Do you have the wow, that's so cool. cool. Beautiful. That's so I cool. I believe so. Yeah, coming off. Is that attached to the rock? Yes. What is this? No, it's actually attached to a dead stalk. Of oh. Uh, Wait, sponge. what is what is it? So relicanthus. What's the common name for? I don't know if it has one. Uh, right. The long tentacled anemone. Long Wait, that's what we can call it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like, how do I spell? <laughs> we get another so uh, 4K. R e l i c a n t at h u s. Okay, now Dave. Okay. How come the lighting's all goofy? Attached to. Thanks very much. Got it. Porch. Uh, Bridge There's too many highlights going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. This is really cool. Oh, I so like the way it moves. This is so pretty. Oh. Yeah, we might want to back off a little. Maybe those thrusters. That's thrust just a shadow from Herc? Ah. From Argus. Oh. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Stay there. Oh. <laughs> Stay there. Sorry. Stay there. <laughs> it's kind of a, uh, you know, when you go to a, a car dealership and they have those <laughs> 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 Wacky wave of inflatable yeah. arm flailing <laughs> tube bend. Look at that rock. Lava. Rock lava. lava. It's like <laughs> stepping stones there. Yeah. So, Megan, I think it was only a few years back, right, that they distinguished that as a different, as not an anemone, but as a. Yeah, so it got oh, its that's own. What uh, yeah, how, we ended up with. Its own family. That's what's throwing yeah, me off. It's yeah, 4K down here, Dave. I was just getting used to it, and then all of a sudden I'm like, what the heck? Someone's up one close oh. and personal here. Uh. 
Someone's wondering if the 4K camera has a name, like the camera on Hurricane Argus is Zeus. Like, does the 4K one have a name, or is it just 4K right now? <laughs> Sorry, it's a deep sea power and light camera. Oh. Deep sea power and light. Uh, but to go back Listen, to that. Do you know the model oh. number? Or is the model name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, to go back to the previous question, uh, there's two forward boxes. Um, and then, which are pretty big, and then there's, we have the starboard box, uh, which has uh, six compartments, two larger and then four smaller. And then we have uh, eight slurps and six oh. niskins and five push cores. Hmm. Is that what you want, Bob? Is that still zoomed in? That's, that's making my eyes go buggy. <laughs> there. there we go. All right, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> what is, is that a track in the sediment or? Uh, it's uh, multi-viewer two, pip H1, uh, no, H, H21, yep. It looks like a track of some yeah. sort. I don't know if you have that or not. Okay. And you should have 4K camera on there too, because I added that. Okay, good, we both learned something. Yeah, sea cucumber tracks. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, could be. Probably. They like to, you know, hoover up all the sediment mm -hmm. and uh, make it nice and clean for us. That's what sea cucumbers do. They like vacuum the sediment. Yeah, clean. they're like the little vacuum cleaners of the deep sea. <laughs> I need a sea cucumber in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just like make little trails and clean up all the dust. Roombas of the deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what goes in must come out, so I don't know if we make it any cleaner. That's true. Yeah, well. <laughs> Your dust will be really clean though. <laughs> yeah, clean as dust. I mean, I do want a pet. My roommates won't let me get a snake. Maybe they'll let me get a sea cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> it might be hard to maintain. Saltwater takes can be a little challenging. <laughs> Especially when I want it to <laughs> cover my whole apartment like floor. Dirt for a while. <laughs> yeah, um, make another 100 meter move after yeah. this one. Uh, yeah. Should be okay. 100. Okay. Just looking at the sonar, it's like we don't have anything coming up. Yeah, I don't see anything hard. There was a question on the chat, uh, Megan, about the number of species in that order uh, in for the Relicanthus. The Relicanthus? Uh, well, we know of at least two. So you have the Relicanthus daphnae, and that's the one, the big one that attaches to rocks. And the one that we just saw is a different Relicanthus. Huh. Uh, we don't have a species on that yet, though. But we're pretty sure that it is different than the Relicanthus daphnae. Bridge nav. Can we get a 100 meter move at 350? Argus is a bit dark. It's occluding its, uh, it's occluding its light. Or Herc's occluding its light. Oh, okay. okay. Coralie, someone commented that you can just buy a Roomba and name it Sea Cucumber. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was, uh, I've always wanted a Roomba. I just haven't been able to <laughs> afford one. <laughs> College student problems. Yeah. If anyone wants to help me out, my Venmo is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little squat Maybe lobster. Something. Yeah, squat.
Whoa. Oh, see Daisy. Oh. So this looks like it's another Immunodopsis. Let's do the uh, 4K, Dave. How many 4Ks do we need? It's experimental. We as many as we want. <laughs> um, yeah, we're supposed to do a certain number per. Okay. You got it. Yes. Thank you. I want to count the hairs on each one of these crabs. <laughs> I know it's actually a really good picture on the little one. So we have to ship these files, these video files, to shore. So bandwidth is an issue. A little bit quiet there, Dave. We have to ship these. Uh, these video files to shore. Uh, we have to send them over the satellite and take up bandwidth uh, in order for them to become stills. So, somewhat cognizant of how many we're taking. Mm. So, they all have to go over our satellite, so don't yeah. go crazy. We have to tra <laughs> transfer the files, yes. The data has to. Does. Is it going to slow up our internet? Um, <laughs> <laughs> once again, DE does. Uh, <laughs> have to talk to them. The internet's been really good this year. It's because it's a new system. Yeah. It's awesome. It's much faster. Stronger. I also feel like it's such a luxury to say, though, that, like, we have the bandwidth to, you know, check our emails, go online, do whatever we have to do from yeah. the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I'm working on a group project right now. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate our data team. Yeah. Fruit Loops are coming down, Jake. Look at that. Oh. That's a good thing. We've done uh, 13 4K you recordings. You want to drive? In uh, three watches. You want to sit over there and drive? That's pretty good. 13 and 4, to, okay. Yeah, sure. We're, we're supposed to do five per watch, so we have two oh. left for our watch. Okay, oh. thank you. <laughs> we got a budget. So someone's asking if there's a mirror behind us. So if you're watching the quad feed or channel three, you can actually see the control van and see um, a window uh, behind the back row. It's not a mirror. Um, it's a very large window that mm. is uh, basically blocking the control van that we're in now to our ship's broadcast studio. So our studio is where our communication fellows and anyone really from the ship is able to connect to classrooms or science centers or community events uh, around the world. So we're able to not only talk to you through our website, um, but we also are able to connect to uh, different organizations and clubs and schools and um, students, really anyone that wants to talk with us um, in a learning setting, which is super cool. I love them. I think they're so fun to do. Um, but that's what's behind us is um, our broadcast studio. Got quite a few interactions tomorrow. Yeah, I'm so. going crazy. <laughs> if any teachers are out there and you want to request a live ship to shore interaction, you can. Uh, on our website, go to the education page and click ship to shore uh, interactions, and I will schedule you one. Just not for tomorrow. But not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot. <laughs> But we are hosting interactions until our season is over in October. So you have plenty of time if you are in school now or uh, summer programs. We have lots of time for that. And in the fall. 
Have you ever done interactions with a company? Um, if somebody is working on Nautilus and their company wants to talk to them, we've done like business kind of meet, not meetings, but like if their organization wants to talk to the person that they have that's on the ship, we'll do that instead of it being like students or the public, we'll do like a kind of corporate Correct. chat instead if that's for somebody on board. Okay. A crab and an anemone. Anemone. Yep, we got some biology. Yeah. There's some wispy corals, I think, up top, too. Mm. We haven't seen many corals. What? We haven't seen many corals. Yeah, there's a lot of sediment here. There was one? You're past them. Shortly after they reached bottom, though, there, there was a boulder that was well populated, high density. Uh, unexpected, I think, to see so many corals at 3,500 meters. Mm Yeah, we're kind of getting into that spot where you don't mm. see a ton of coral. Ooh, that's a big one. This is a stocked crinoid. Very pretty. That's pretty. So are each of those different, like separate organisms? Yeah, so there's three unstocked crinoids on this stocked crinoid. Huh. So there's unstocked and stocked. Yep. The yeah, the stocked one is the big one. It has that long stock yeah. that attaches to the hard substrate. And then you have these sort of free swimming, free living crinoids that will just sort of find a home in all sorts of places. So this one's interesting. You can see that the branches of the arm, the arms actually branch, which is different. It definitely looks different from what I've seen in our guides and on different dives. Hmm. But there are a lot of these deep sea crinoids aren't very well described. So this one, we only know till fami family, we don't really have a species ID. Oh, I see the branched arms now, yeah. Yeah. Huh. But the way it's branching is kind of odd. Like, is that worth a close up and get a yeah, yeah, we let's can take a look at it? Okay. Also, sometimes the on these stock crinoids, camera. there is a uh, commensal snail that, that lives on them. Wow. Here we go. That's a good shot from the Herc, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Oh well, yeah, it looks like each arm is branching in a different way. Some of them have three branches, some of them have four branches. One has two. One has five. Yeah, that's really pretty. Nice zoom. So that could be, be because it's regrowing arms. Sometimes I lose arms and they'll regrow them. That's all Bob. He's flying it in there. I'm not zooming at all. All right. That was a good look. Yeah. That was cool. Very nice. Nice job, Jake. <laughs> nice flying. Thank you. Oh, it's Jake. Sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I was so focused on my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well, I made a little dust cloud back here, so <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to That's bear through that. <laughs> Fly through it, onward. Into the unknown. Jake, someone is wondering, um, on the 
tether between Argus and Hercules, it looks like two footballs on the line. Can you explain what those are? Uh, those are for buoyancy, so they keep the uh, tether in kind of good position between the two vehicles um, floating, because you don't want it you know, sinking down to the bottom or just floating up in the view of Argus all the time. So there's also there's a weight as well positioned uh, behind the two footballs. Yeah, we want the tether to kind of make a lazy S shape so that it doesn't uh, stays all stretched out, doesn't get tangled up in things. Mm. So there's there's two floats and one hunk of lead <laughs> in the tether. <laughs> It's a white tip shark bait. <laughs> <laughs> we saw two of them right when Hercules went in the water. Oh, right. Yeah, they're really curious. They come and check things out. So what are these whiter patches? Bridge nav. I I don't know. <laughs> Just probably more freshly disturbed. Can we do another 100 sand? meter move at 350? Yeah, I'd go with that. Freshly disturbed. <laughs> 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 yeah, great. No, that's exactly what's happening. So there's a lot of animals that live in the sediment and they'll bioturbate or mix the sediment. Um, I think we've seen a few spoke traces, which are these little burrows of echiurans, spoonworms that live in the sediment. And as they feed, they send out their proboscis and bring it back in. So it creates a star pattern around their burrow. Then you have like sea cucumbers that are creating those trails. But here's some spoke traces. You can see them up in the left-hand corner coming into view. So you see the little hole, that's where the animal's living and mm -hmm. those trails where it's already grabbed all the food. and. Once they get to a point where they've cleaned everything around their burrow, uh, they'll move to a different burrow. Hmm. This is a big rock in front of her. Yeah. Just a rock. Loads of rock. Hey Nav, could you zoom out a bit on high pack so we see what's beyond waypoint five? Yeah, of course. Oh, what's that pink thing there? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's kind of a saddle there. Yeah. So I think the plan the plan is to come up to the top of this local high. And then I think it'll probably dip down a little bit into this saddle. Okay. And then we're going and then ascend again. Okay. Ascend again. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Dave, someone's wondering if you could put high pack on channel three for a little bit. Sure. Uh, the detail in high pack won't come through very well, but uh, it's possible to do if I can figure out where it would be. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Here's 
Kelly, is that high pack? Yep. Well, that's a nice sea cucumber. Thank you. Plump. Looks like a Paleopodites. Gonna zoom in on this guy, dude. Why not? We're here. Let's take a look. So pretty. All right. So this sea cucumber is a family Cynalactidae. Wow. And a lot of the sea cucumbers in this family are like purple or pink. This might be a Benthodites, actually. I don't know them super well. Sea cucumbers can be very difficult to ID. But this is a very pretty one. Yeah. I think it'll make the guide. Are you making a new guide? Oh, we're always adding things to the guide. So every time we see something new, it goes in the guide. Mm -hmm. So when we first started the guide, it had like maybe a thousand photos. Now it's like 5,000 photos. <laughs> Where can we find this guide? So there are actually a few guides available online that uh, myself and my colleagues at the Deep Sea Animal Research Center are work on. Um, the first one that came is the uh, the Hurl Animal Guide, DC Animal Guide. That's on the Hurl Archive website um, through the University of Hawaii. And that has images from the Pisces subs, the old UHROV, as well as the Makali'i sub. So these are images ranging uh, in age from the 80s all the way to uh, about 2016, 2017. Nice. I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah. And then another guide that a lot of people might be familiar with is the OER um, NOAA Deep Sea Animal Guide. And those are images from the Okeanos Explorer and the Deep Discoverer ROV. And then uh, recently I have created a website that incorporates images from Pearl, uh, Nautilus, and the Okeanos all together in one guide looking at animals from the Papahanao Mokuakea Marine National Monument. And that is on our uh, dark website at uh, www.soas.hawaii.edu slash D-A-R-C slash P-M-N-M. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Got it down. <laughs> So check out our guides. It's got lots of cool images. Um, wow. Lots of ways to search for different animals. Uh, and they're all organized taxonomically, which means that the groups that are similar to each other will be grouped together. So your sea cucumbers are econoderms, so they're going to be under the phylum Econodermata. Things like fishes are chordates, so they'll be um, under chordata. Emma's already on it. Yeah. This so. is a fun <laughs> website. Yeah, it's a great website. <laughs> oh, what do we oh, got there? Oh, look at that guy go. Yeah. Scooting. It's going so fast. Oh, what is that? What's he got? This is like the fastest, uh, fastest little hermit crab ever. <laughs> wow. It's going so fast. <laughs> Run away. It looks it's like this a little slope. hermit crab got a got a snack or something. Yeah. Doesn't want us to steal it. Yeah. Or a new hat, you know. <laughs> to the, are they the ones that decorate themselves? Yeah. So that one was wearing a anemone oh. instead of a shell. <laughs> so. 
the cool thing about those parapagurid um, hermit crabs is that their anemone actually grows with them. So they don't have to get a new shell, like their shell is constantly growing with them. So they have a anemone instead of a shell. There's a lazy shrimp. What makes him lazy? I don't know. It just seems like he's looking lazy. <laughs> like they can swim a lot faster. He's than not that. going as fast as that crab was. I, I, thought, I thought that was like a common name or something. No. <laughs> Deep sea red shrimp. Um, so this is another one of those shrimps mm. in the family Aristeidae. Could be Aristeus. Could be Ceratospis. The way to tell is to look at the rostrum, and that is the little horn that's between the eyes um, of the shrimp. And you're gonna count the spines on that. So it's really teeny tiny. So it's really hard to ID these things uh, in situ looking at them, but they are really gorgeous and fun to chase with the ROV. <laughs> I'm having fun. Yep, go <laughs> for it. I don't think he minds. I think he likes the spotlight. Yeah. He knows he's majestic. <laughs> so majestic. He's going take in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, take us on a tour of the deep sea. <laughs> Cribs, welcome to my house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty sweet crib, I might say. <laughs> it's really big. Mm -hmm. Bye. I've had enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> we stayed too long. <laughs> oh, this thing's definitely following me. question came in, ML, on how often uh, do we take live samples? So this one, we're not really aiming for it, but if we see something of interest for someone, we'll try and collect it, right? Yeah. This one's yep. mostly rocks, though. Subject to the uh, restrictions that you know, for our permit in the uh, monument, but yep. uh, yeah, sample portions of colonial organisms. If we want to sample a whole animal, we have to make sure there's at least 10 of them around. Uh. We are in the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument, so um, we are in protected waters. We did have to um, get special permits to come here, and we do have, as Emil mentioned, restrictions on our sampling, so we have to follow some guidelines while we're here. And for the viewer asking, um, if we're looking at quad with on the bottom right hand screen, that's actually a um, Google Earth image tracking our ship movement. So um, that little triangle is just where EV Nautilus is. Um, we are near Palmyra Atoll in the monument, um, but we're about four ish days from Hawaii. Basically the middle of the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> yeah, it's a large, uh, Palmyra Atoll is on a large platform uh, and we are ascending the southwest side of that platform. Uh, Megan, how uh, far are the contours spaced? So the black are 50 meters, the white are 10. Great.
with some tracks. Like yeah. Someone just commented, how does it feel being almost as far away from any major land mass that you can get on the planet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if that's right, but we are pretty far. <laughs> We're out there, yeah. It's entirely possible that we'd be closer to the uh, International Space Station than uh, land. Really? Wow. The uh, ISS mm -hmm. was over the top of us. Huh. Wow. Fun well, fact. That's a fun fact. It's <laughs> yeah. close by and it's land, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> more or less. But otherwise, it feels fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, the we weather's are, been a little rough, but... You know, we're at the mercy of Mother Nature out this far. There's not much shelter from the wind and waves. So, I mean, we are a bit sheltered on the southwest side of Palmyra here. Uh, the trade winds have been pretty stiff, and that's expected of a La Nina year, which is what we're in. Uh, it strengthens the trade winds, so 25 knots. Uh, yeah. It's still pretty rough in the upper, in the northern half of this uh, Palmyra Kingman EEZ, the exclusive economic zone that we're, that we're cleared to operate in for this cruise. So, but we're waiting. It looks like there'll be more favorable conditions to move north later in the week. Uh, but right now... I feel like you said that for the beginning of this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not quite. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it became apparent once we came down here that we had to restrict our operations to the south side just because of the weather. Yeah. So Kingman, Palmyra. Palmyra's turned out to be nice. We did see dolphins this morning, so that was nice. Yeah. And we saw the sharks. Saw sharks. We have a great dive in. So today's working out great. Yeah, well, this is a cool rock. This is a great is rock. Yeah. There's something on the rock. That little shrimp. red thing. A little shrimp. Yeah. So this is a different red shrimp called Nematocarcinus, or the long-legged shrimp. Because, huh. you know, it has long legs. There's a there. sponge. <laughs> a little rain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a very vertical wall, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. It's not super tall, but it's big. It's almost Cut. overhanging. Yep. Yeah, that sponge looked like a hylonema. It's a sponge in the family Pheronomatidae. So they use these uh, long spicules or glass pieces to root themselves onto the rock. Which are is we how in it's the, sticking there? Are we in the middle of a move, Nav? Yes, we are okay. halfway through with our 100 meter move. Okay. Sometimes at the base of a cliff like that, you'll have a nice angular piece broken off, but. I hear. Not. Ooh, what's that? Not at this time. There's a wispy thing in the wispy. center screen. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh okay. right below the lasers. I get a z quick zoom in on that, Dave. See what it is. Very translucent. Yeah. 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 So it looks like an anemone. That's all I got. It's oh, an yeah. anemone. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Wait, do, are there the like little bulbs, bulbs. on the edge? Yeah. Oh. It's oh, a little cool. red thing on one of its tentacles. Wow. Oh, that might be a polychaete uh, mm. bristle worm on it. The orange on the bottom. Mhm. Mm yeah, that little orange yeah. thing. A polychaete. Hmm. 
It's pretty. Yeah, it I don't, is really pretty. don't think I've seen one of these. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got a lot, a lot of ways to go in the move. It's kind of weird. Great zoom. Yeah. All right. Very Goodbye, nice. Thanks. Good eye, Megan. Thanks. It's like I do this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> But it's good to get these zooms because otherwise I wouldn't have known what it was. They're like, well, it was a something. Then we'll be wondering for the rest of our lives. Now I don't have to wonder. Mm -hmm. I've got good imagery of it. <laughs> a question in the science chat of whether that was maybe a coralomorph. It could be. Or, That's why when yeah. I saw those bulbs, I, they could have been a coralomorpharian. Um, it definitely looks a little odd for Corellomophorians, but Corellomophorians usually always have those white bulbs on the ends of their tentacles. So they might be right on that one. But it's definitely strange. Not like the typical ones that we see. So Corellomophorians are like enemies, but they're not in the anemones group. They're kind of their own thing, in the same way the relicanthus are not quite anemones, but look like anemones. And that's all due to what we've learned through uh, genetic testing about how these animals are related to one another. We've been splitting them off into more and more groups of, as we learn more about them. So things that were you know, visually similar sometimes end up being genetically different. So with fronds like that, who needs an enemies? Exactly. What's that? Ooh. Sponge. Oh, that's Ooh. wild. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, Megan. I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Super weird. Whoa. Sponge. Okay, look, at it. look at it. I don't think it's a sponge. It's definitely really? not a sponge. Wow. Um, oh, uh, it's like, like it's a... It's got a little what? suction thing in What is it? I don't know. Tunicate? A big... It doesn't look like a tuna kit either. Oh, no, very strange. I think it's one of those weird mollusks. And then what is that thing on it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's weird. <laughs> we should get some 4K All right. of this. I'm going to do a 4K, Dave. They're is it lined up good? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's got the... Yeah, let's... You want the laser off? Laser's off for that? Great. You got that? Yeah. What is Thank that you. little white thing on it? That doesn't look like it's part of the animal. No. That's so weird. Want me to zoom in, Jake? I think I've uh, seen yeah. One of these like, what are those little black, like, yeah. other There's things on like, it? Like it's a a mollusk. Yeah. That's a camera. mollusk? Yeah. So, Emma, if you look under uh, mollusk's other, uh -huh. there's something Ooh. similar. What's that other thing on it? Is that a little bug? I like a probably. sea bug? <laughs> yeah, yeah there's, there's a polychaete on it. This thing? Yeah, yeah. that's the polychaete. And I think. The, the dark color thing what is, is like it's what internal is going on? organs. Which dark colored thing? Both? It, the, well, at least the, the round one. I'm not sure what this, yeah, <laughs> it's other really hard to find is. Something and to the, focus the, on the white thing. bulb thing? Maybe yeah. it's like an egg case What thing? is happening? I don't know. <laughs> this I don't is know. the weirdest it's thing. Really yeah. Weird. <laughs> I think it, it is part of it, though. Uh, yeah, There's so much going on. I've never seen one this large. I know it just I've has like a lot. Before. Yeah. Really? They're really weird. It's like a soft trumpet. <laughs> a soft trumpet. Yeah, that's one way to. All right, I'm going to see if I can find this in the guide. That's so cool. Yeah. Good find. Good find. Yeah, that's a good find. I would collect it, but I think it would turn to mush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Also, it's so large. I feel like it just it's needs to huge. stay there. Yeah, 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 it would just like shred. Yeah. So it'd like be kind of useless. Half a meter. That was super cool. Coming across some stumpers tonight. <laughs> yeah, that That's that good. one is super. It was really weird, but we're also at a really interesting depth. So anything's possible. Anything is possible. <laughs> Where is this thing? in the gastric. Yeah, I looked at the other mollusks, so I didn't see anything close yeah, to that. Maybe it was in the gastropoda. Yeah, gastropoda. Wild, right? Um, oh, yeah. So in... Latorinomorpha. Yeah, Latorinomorpha. Oh, well, that's cute. Let's zoom that. It might be a cookie star of interest. Pterotracheoidea. We don't, we don't even have like a full <laughs> ID on this. Pterotracheoidea. Oh, that's one of those porcelain stars. We collected a few of those on the last cruise. Oh, so cute. <laughs> it is very cute. It's a nice <laughs> color, too. It almost looks like it has two eyes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> it might be there might be parasites mm -hmm. on or some damage done to this animal. See his little two feet. Oh, is that it? Maybe. So that's uh, in the family Porcelanasteridae. It's a porcelain star. Pretty cute. Jake, can you pan back over to the right a little bit? Yeah. Straight it out. Closest. Yeah. I didn't notice. Yeah, this. but I didn't yeah. see those things. Yeah. And it had a weird shape. Like this looks more like. Yeah. Circular. Yeah, so it, it looks more bagpipey, not super trumpety. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like? Oh, wow. oh. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> scary. <laughs> what? Scary. I don't know what that it's is. It's like the same. Scary? <laughs> same thing. <laughs> Like yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But they're delicious. Wow. 3D pineapple. Uh, lychee gummy. Ah, oh, those are delicious. Mm -hmm. Lychee. Ooh, it's this Ooh, coming out? A halosaur. Oh, they're just so cute. <laughs> halosaur. So this one is an Aldrovandia. And as we zoom in, you'll see that there are no scales on its nose. Says Aldrovandia ah. Palacra. I spoke Came in too hot. Uh, can you spell that, Megan? Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did you call that fish again, Megan? Uh, it's a halosaur. So Aldrovandia affinis. Megan, how many? like species names you have running through your brain? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like if I knew that, that it would probably be a scary number. 
though it does get frustrating when you have a brain fart, you can't remember the name of something you know. But I can usually remember if I've seen it before. I just think they're all so cool. Every time I learn a new fact about deep sea animals, like the best. <laughs> well, you sit and watch dives and catalog animals for a living. Too. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I, I do. Mean, like, talk about you know, doing the job you love, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't that's, change it, that's, that's awesome. for sure. It's really so exciting to actually be out here on the ship, getting to participate in the dives. Uh, it's really helpful when it comes to annotating, for sure, because I, I was in the action. I know what was going on, what the situa situation was like. Um, I get sort of a preview of what to expect. Uh, the downside is I hear my own voice <laughs> and the silly things I say, yeah. <laughs> which, you know, is, is kind of embarrassing sometimes. <laughs> It's really weird to listen to your own voice and your own really sad puns. <laughs> Are we looking for another rock? Uh, I nothing here looks super angular. Maybe at the bottom, but I don't think we can go back. Yeah, too late for that. We've got about 300 meters to the top of this local high. Um, I mean, you can leave it. People like it. So what forms these like cave looking features? Is just the way it cools when it? Yeah, so it could be like lava tubes, which is, yeah, just the way the lava forms. A lot of these look uh, like sheet flows. It's like really flat, sheety. <laughs> <laughs> well, pieces off often break off these flows too, so. Yeah. And over time they get rounded out. Any rocks By your manganese crust, Coralie. Huh? All your manganese crusts rounding out the jagged edges. Yeah, love that. Love that for them. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one of those hyalinema sponges. Oh yeah, over on the right. Yep, there it goes. Oh, there's a little demo sponge in that small indentation. I am. I was hoping to see some corals on this rock. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs>
How shallow are we going at the end, like by tomorrow when the dive's over? 17, he says? 17, 11. Yeah. Point six. There's some uh, slightly altered waypoints, so, but it should be, the Can depth should be about fish? the same. Little yeah, fish. the little fish. Slowly creeping over. Yeah, it might zoom off if we go too fast. I think it might be another one of those tripod fishes. The way it's sort of awkwardly uh -huh. swimming. Oh, there we go. It set itself up. Yep. Into the current. And right in the middle of the... <laughs> <laughs> <Ten centimeters. laughs> they have really small eyes, so I don't think they see Is very well. Is there, Dave? This one's really cute. He's really tidy. Yeah. Super tiny. So if they have really small eyes, how do they sense like what's around them? So fishes have a lateral line and same uh, as sharks and they use that to sense things around them. So they can feel movements in the water. Ooh. Such an awkward swimmer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's those legs, they're getting in the way. <laughs> Looks like he wants to stay close to the seafloor and feel a good yeah. new perch. Mm -hmm. Got to find a good spot, you know? I get it. So like the ship, they like to orient themselves and in face of the current. Kicking up a storm. Uh -oh. Yeah. Good. Give him some space. that brittle star go. Scoot. You know, one of those things that's always really impressed me is how fast some of these brittle stars or deep sea animals in general can move. Like some of the urchins can really just go for it or like that hermit crab earlier. They're pretty quick. And animals like brittle stars that you think might be slow. There was one dive I was watching where a team of brittle stars took down a squid. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Whole army of Poor squid. It was so cute. It didn't see it coming. We had fun watching these uh, acrobat snails up oh, by the, yeah. the Voyager seamounts. The Gaza Daedalus. They just, just throw themselves around. I like to call them the flailing snail. There are lots of different, you know, you techniques again? that these animals mm -hmm. use to get from place to place. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Escape predators. They can use distraction. Right. 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 They can right. move really fast. Got one 4K shot left. <laughs> Saving it up for something It's special. only 9.45. We still <laughs> have time. <laughs> yeah, well, well, that weird gastropod thing was definitely special. Yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> I, it's so weird. That just through the sample run to send back to the beach? It's not like... 
Are you on SPL, Bob? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he is. Huh. Yeah. All right, just a little quiet. Can you hear me now? Uh, more or less. Yes. I got it. Yes. <laughs> I got it. A little bit better. I was just wondering if that was just for Jonathan to use as a sample. Bridge or? nav. So. We don't have the ability to take Can we do another 100 there. meters, 350? So we're recording short video files. Awesome, and then thanks. Stills will be processed out of those video files. Was somebody Locked. talking to me? <laughs> he was answering your question. Uh, I didn't hear it. You're Ultimately, not auto heading. That's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's a full manual guy. <laughs> That's how you get the good shots. <laughs> If you leave it, if you leave the heading game, it's normally at 10. Yeah. That's way too herky jerky, but you can you turn, turn it low. down, you know? Like, I'll turn it, it helps with that? Like two. And then so you keep it on and you can still kind of. Yeah, then you, you, you hold your heading, but you can, you know, you can be really smooth. Definitely 10 is way too herky jerky. Yeah, yeah. So much sediment. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what this local high is all about. Be something cool. <laughs> Jake, you're taking over? Yep. Yeah. Is it confusing when you take over but in the opposite seat? I've never flown from on this side. <laughs> <laughs> you never flown from there? No, from over here, no. So, oh. But I, I don't know, it's not that much different. It's just finding out where all your numbers are. bad elbow over here. I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh, that's fine.
much work getting up, switching chairs, switching <laughs> mics. You know. Well, it's kind of nice that you can just like pass it on. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, here you uh, go. Both of these, you can. Pass yeah, you just back pass and back and forth. forth. Yeah, I can do the winch from here. And, yeah. yeah. He just doesn't get the good chair. Yeah, he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't get a nice chair. It's not really that nice a chair at all. Uh, it's, a it's, it's like itchy cloth. Oh, really? It could be worse, though. Uh, it could be worse. But it looks try nice. Try your darnest to make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted faux leather. Oh, yeah. And I got... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't always get you on. Ooh, what's that? The shrimp or the, no, the, thing the in fuzzy the thing. I think it might be a coral. Hmm. Cryonid? Or not a coral, yeah. What kind of coral? Probably a black coral. What depth are we at? We've been looking for oh. coral. Yeah, this one's a cool one. This one looks like the, the Alternati Pathies Alternata. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> thinking the same thing on the same page? <laughs> That's exactly the words I was going to say. <laughs> so this is a black coral, so Ooh. coral in the Antipatheria. Yeah. I don't know if we've seen any black, well, we haven't seen any black corals on our watch, but I don't know if the other watches had seen any. Jeremy Horowitz in the chat says, looks like bathypathies. Yeah, so this used to be uh, called Bathypathies, or Bathypathies CF Alternata, but um, it was recently redescribed as Alternatipathies. Right, of course. Mm -hmm. Also, why? <laughs> why? Why? Yeah, like, because like, it's change the its alternate name? Bathypathies, and it has alternating branches. Ooh. Is that, is that better? Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Want to zoom in on that, Dave? Get close up the polyps. So actually, this seat's cheaper than this is a Herman Miller Airline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are expensive chairs. <laughs> so I mean, these aren't this, that bad. This chair's not as much as those. So really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they cheaped out on this chair. <laughs> They're That's like, cool. oh, that could be pricey. It looks like they are close. And so you can see how the branches of this core are alternating from side to side. Oh. Okay. That's where the alter naughty pathies. Right. Not exactly opposite in between e each other on opposite sides. Yeah. Exactly. It looks like there's a little polychaete on that branch that we're looking at. It's moving around. It's hard to keep yeah. it focused. It's, it's waving in the wind. Yeah, waving in the wind. Yeah. All right. Oh, Is there something underneath it? Yeah, there is like looks a like a little crab down there. Trying to get some shade. <laughs> Are you f full wide on? Oh, there we go. Yeah, sorry about that. Here's another one of those tripod fishes. Yep. Oh, there it is. Did you come 
coming up super fast? Or what's happening here? I'm, like I'm underneath you. Mail here. Does look like it's getting steep coming up. So no rock probably. You're thinking about a rock? I'm thinking here? about it, yeah. Yeah, we another Ooh, move what's on? That float in there? Uh, we're almost at the end of our move. Okay. Yeah, this it looks like we're coming up on a steep part. They want a rock. If it's hard we can skip because nothing looks super angular and I don't really need anything from the steps. How about that one? Yeah, that one looks... Is Are that those large? Enough? Specific one? Yeah. Whoop! That was really big. <laughs> Here. Yeah, this is also angular. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, maybe this yeah. one. That one looks huge. It does look so one. big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it looks so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we take the big rocks? Is this one angular enough? Yeah, it looks big too. It looks kind of attached. Uh. Yeah. yeah, it looks pretty big. Can you pan over a little bit? Yeah. Is that full wide, Dave? Okay. I'll get the back. Yep. back. It's a pretty big rock. Oh, that is big. <laughs> <laughs> Deceiving. Uh. <laughs> uh, anything over here? Here, at least. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know that they're angular enough for... Yeah, very attached. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up there. Hey, Jake, what's that uh, thing kind of sticking out at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen? Uh, that's the slurp. That's oh. the slurp no. tube. Yep. Okay. Oops. Okay. Argus is coming up, but I don't know. Less than ten meters, just yeah. I don't, it, I don't see anything grabble right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We can keep moving. Well, like, I see heading, this. Whoa, on, Argus. I know you don't like it, but wow. It, when we <laughs> land, you gotta <laughs> keep it in heading hold. It's drifting around. Sorry. I was trying to bring up Argus. <clears throat> yeah. All right, we gotta get moving. Yeah, yep. that's fine. I'll just leave this out here. Go ahead, Dave. Hey. All right. Someone's commenting on how the last expedition of last year was like a competition for how many rocks we could get. Yeah, there was a, a lot of geology greed going on. Yeah. 
I forget what the total uh, weight of our package was. Four like tons, thousand pounds. thousand pounds of rocks. Yeah. It was like four tons for the whole season or something. We got it all to fit on one pallet, but it was like Tetris. Well, there's your uh, massive basalt wall. Yeah, looks pretty cool. We finished our move and I'm going to stay here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't that tall, so. Okay. <laughs> but it looks like it still continues on for a little bit. Yeah. We'll take some smaller steps. Do you see any other rocks? Uh, these don't look you angular enough. Like, yeah, what's right, that right one? at the end of the crack. Yeah, at the end of the crack. Maybe this one? I don't know if that's attached or not. Or possible. That one at the end of the crack looks... Uh, that one looks Possibly. more angular. Yeah. Which one? That, oh, yeah, this yeah. one. Can you turn a little bit? There? Yeah. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Oh, yeah. Argus is pretty close to the bottom there. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. really close. Sorry. I'm trying to hold it steady, too. Looks good. It's got a lot of angles. Well, that's worth a shot. Is it going to work? Yeah. Yeah. We can collect okay. that one. Is that also going five? Starboard. Uh, that's zero, zero, 007. Yeah, but the uh, starboard. Oh, that can go. Where do you want to put it? You can put it in uh, F, starboard F. Where is this going? Starboard bio box F. F box Yeah, track. which which box? F. Are we at the end of our move, Megan? Yes, we have okay. not moved. We move we stopped right, moving. Still. Ten minutes. From Argus is almost settled stopping. out. Yeah, I just. Oh yeah. Okay, you can keep trucking on. All right. So I guess the only other ge uh, rock collection would be for Beth at this point. Yeah. Good crust. Nope. Yeah, I'm thinking anything Amber doesn't want, we can give to Beth. Progress is on an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I got a good job.
Argus okay there? I think the camera yeah. might be zoomed in a bit. Okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, mm -hmm. it's close, but it's like five meters off the bottom. Or I guess where the sub bottom is, it's pretty, pretty close. Argus is zoomed all the way out. Oh, okay. Are you feeling about ready for a ship move? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm just asking. Keep trucking along. I know. Well, you're almost caught up, so I thought yeah, I'd ask. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> kind of steep. Oh, look, Coral. Maybe we shouldn't take such aggressive steps if we're going to oh, no, do this I... sort of thing. It takes a long time to settle out. Uh, Argus I... has been settled out for a little while. I think this waypoint five is probably a steep feature. I mean, it looks like the contours open up, but Iraqi's good. You don't want to come up too fast. Yeah. When you're under Argus. And yeah. The tether will come right up. Okay. Down and, yeah. Oh, look, at, it's a helipterous sea pen. So this sea pen is one of those ones that roots in the sediment. Actually, it's not called helipterous anymore. Steve just informed me it has a new name, and I immediately forgot what it was. <laughs> so I'm going to have to look that up. What's that? It's a sponge with a sponge inside. <laughs> sponge suction. Mm -hmm. So huh. the outer sponge is dead, but the inner sponge is still alive. Ah. Me except opposite. Alive on the outside, dead on the inside. <laughs> They might actually be the same uh, species of sponge. Just one is dead and one is alive. Hmm. What happens if the dead one falls off, um, like from the ground? Then uh, that's just too bad for the live one. Are there two, two live, live sponges? Ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like there are two. Hmm. So these look like they might be septural forens. Um, they look like they'd be crunchy glass sponges, and there are a bunch of brittle stars hanging out on the sponge. There's some type of like coral or something below it. Yeah, that looks like uh, Romulan Gorgia militaris. So that is a coral in the family um, Chrysogorgiidae. And you know it's Romulan Gorgia because all of they tend to be very white in color, and all of the branches line up in a line. So it's probably better for me when I'm catching up to like come in around the side instead of like underneath. Of Sorry. When I'm when I'm coming when I'm catching back up like coming back in. I I want to go on like the side of Argus right instead of like directly underneath. Why am I not hearing you? I don't know. You have them on. I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Well. How about you bump them up? So, just yeah. hit Wait, hang pilot. on. But without all, I need all my volumes up. Everybody's really <laughs> quiet, though. Oh, okay. Right? Isn't it? 
master volume? Is it this one? Yeah, it should be the the lower one. Lower. All right. Let's try Can you that. Hear me now? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I was asking <laughs> when I'm coming back in, like instead of coming directly underneath Argus, I should come up like to the side when we're coming up quick. Well, you can, I guess. Yeah. Let me get stuck like that. I can point over towards you more. We just need to be more mindful of trucking ahead like yeah. that. Yeah. Would you like to get a 10 meter move started? What were you, you were doing 20? Uh, you're doing I had 100. To, I, have, I was doing 100, and <laughs> yeah, then... Yeah, so let's not do 100. We can... When it looks like that, yeah, we shouldn't well, do 100. Yeah, well, it wasn't doing that. It was flat okay. sediment. And then the that move ended right as yeah. we came to this wall. Yeah, 20, 20, sounds okay. 20 sounds good? All right. It's just it takes a long time to settle out at mm -hmm. 2,500, so... That was a good time to end that step. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it worked out perfectly. Yeah, it, it would have been worse. Bridge nav. Can we make a 20 meter move due north? Even though it's not the uh, the really good Argus camera, it's still a nice shot. Yeah, it's shot. still good. The Mini Zeus works well. Yeah. For varying definitions of well. <laughs> <laughs> you get the weird artifacts, so I think it works okay if you're up close on something, but mm -hmm. it's, it looks good. Yeah, well, you always get like these lens flares at the ends yeah. of the camera. It's crazy how we can go from like just flat with sediment to boom this. <laughs> yeah. That's volcanoes for you. Yeah. <laughs> Lava does crazy stuff. <laughs> You can just kind of telegraph your moves if you're gonna like come up fast. Just coming up. All right. Yeah. So how tall is this uh, I know. man? Like twenty four seventy seven. Well, it's not as steep coming up in front of us. So. You're saying what you're looking at now is not as steep? I'm oh, just looking at the beyond. sonar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or 
4K has got the weird, when you're moving, it does that weird pattern. Yeah. I think that's the Zeus, though. That's the, it, is it back to the Zeus? Yeah, because I hit this, I hit, when I did the sample salvo, brought us back. Oh. Uh, huh. How come this monitor is doing that? That one's There not. it is. Uh, look how clean that one is. That's a large rock, though. I don't know. Yeah. Because it's uh, inside of a, of a smaller pip and there's processing that's... Oh. Um, that makes sense. Wait, this is still a 4K. Now, now it's, it's now just it's got 4K. switched. Oh, it did got a switch. Jake had his hands full, so... Mm. I was throwing him a bomb. It looks like... On that one, you could see yeah, nice the angles. inside, yeah. Yeah. Probably pretty big. Yeah, yeah. too big, but. this rough texture just rock? So I've actually noticed that sometimes the ferromanganese crust doesn't just mm. make a smooth surface. Sometimes it makes this kind of like Bubbles. small, yeah, little bubble like texture. Mm. I'm actually just going to make a note to ask someone about that. <laughs> So oh Dave, why is this monitor doing that? It's, it's like inside of another... Because uh, it's uh, going through the multi-viewer and it's uh, being processed. Oh. Um, Could we get a zoom point. on that rough texture on the rock? Sure. Wanna just zoom in right here, Dave? Yeah, straight ahead. Yeah, it's just a lot of fine detail. That's a zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got some screen grabs. Good. Thank you. Is it because of the texture of the rock or something that makes it so bad? The the te the bubbles. Are you talking about the are you talking about the video? Yeah, oh. yeah. I think monitor. Just, yeah, I think a lot of fine detail and it causes uh, interference patterns. Oh. I never noticed it that bad before. Hmm. Looks like it's shimmering rock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's on the four K, right? Well, well, it was like doing it on board, yeah. it was doing it on oh. both views. Huh. Chrysocorgia? Where was it? Yeah, lower right hand okay. corner. I see it right there. What's the common name for that, Megan? So the Chrysogorgians, uh, some people call them golden coral uh -huh. because their skeleton has sort of a golden sheen to them. Cool. Yeah, I've noticed that a lot of these octocorals are named after what color their skeleton is, like black corals have a black skeleton, pink mm. corals have pink skeleton, mm. gold coral has a gold skeleton, or these golden corals also gold. But gold coral and golden coral are very different. So gold coral is, is a shallower bigger? water species, not shallow water, but uh, around 500, 300 to 500 meters. Uh, and it's a zoanthid, not an octocoral. So in the branches of this Chrysogorgia, you'll see a little squat lobster. That's a Europe tychus. And we almost always see a squat lobster in the branches of Chrysogorgia. That little red thing? Yeah, that little red thing. Oh my god, it's so cute. So it is so <laughs> cute. <laughs> They're pretty adorable. Nav. 
That's so pretty. Can we do another 20 meters north? It's so small. It's giving Christmas tree. Vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Just pink ones. <laughs> Good show on that zoom. All right. Sorry, I missed it. What was what's that little creature hanging off of it? It's a squat lobster. Okay. I see his arm right there. Reaching out to catch something. Yeah. So this squat lobster is called Europtychus. And oftentimes we'll see more than one uh, on a colony, but usually at least one. Is that its eye, that circular thing? Yeah, that bright dot. Yeah. Yeah, that's its eyeball. <laughs> that's so weird. Oh, that was a neat sea star. Some very jagged stuff here. Oh, yeah. Can't oh, be yeah. more angular than this. She did want it to be more 3D, though. Some of these things look pretty flat. There was one that looked almost box-like. That one above the lasers is box-like, but it's rather, well, it's a little big, yeah. 20, oh, 30 centimeters. That guy. Yep. I don't know, maybe. Give it a shot. Which one? The one we just, the lasers just passed over. What do you think, Corley, right here? Uh, yes, maybe we can try for that one. Pretty big piece. Yeah. Some other smaller angular ones above it. So are we still looking for angular rocks? Yeah, or this one maybe. Yeah. These are particularly nicely angular ones. Yeah. 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 Pretty good. This one just looks pretty large. Yeah, yeah. I want to try for, uh, whoops, double <laughs> tap, um, that one in there. Can you reach that or am I going to have to reach one? Yeah. Way out yeah. there? You got yeah. it. I don't know if I can get all the way up there. Yeah. That's too far there. away. All right, I'll put, pick up the... Even maybe the small one, if the big one doesn't work, maybe try that one. It's the very What's rectangular what? one. Oh, yeah. Or the triangular one in front of it. Triangle one. Let's try for this. Oh, God, that didn't make maybe, any sense. Maybe just a tap. This one first. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, we can try for that one. Get up there closer, Jake. All right. Okay. Oh, so that bouncing hurt. We're still... Get it over more to the, towards the arm. Yeah, that one does look more angular <laughs> if you look at the 4K. So it's over closer to the arm. But, uh, they're, all, they're both good. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. Ah, or even that one. Yeah. So, Jake, are you driving her while Bob takes the sample? Yeah. yeah. And I am not doing a good job holding it steady right now. That's good. Are you using stick lock and driving in? So this is when you should use the auto heading because otherwise it'll tend to drift off. Okay. Especially if you get a side current. Oh. 
So you want to be driving down and forward into it on it and with auto heading on. Like I have to push off the rock, so you gotta be kind of using some oomph. What do you think of this? Maybe that one. Is that any easier? Yeah. Yeah. That is a good one. All right. You might want to put it in this one um, if they don't fit into one of these. But these rocks are pretty small. So you got a spot for it? It's a pretty angular one. Yeah, very. We can try for the forward bio box B. There's already a rock in there, but it, I don't think that one's too big. All right. Forward. You want to rack the camera back? Yeah, I've already racked back. B. B. Oh, oh that's. There's one rock. Is that gonna fit in there? That's a big rock. Yeah. 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 Uh oh. This should have gone in the <laughs> E or F box. I don't. Yeah. I think it'll fit, but. Oh yeah, that's bio box A. I can put that. In. I don't want to break the box. Right. That's the problem. How about? How about one like of the starboard? Fit. Yeah. Oh. We can try, yeah, starboard right. bio box E or F. Oh, if it fits, great. If not. Right? Yeah, I think it'll fit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I we like the confidence. The box is all. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Nice. So that's sample number eight? Yes. Very clear. Yeah. Yep. It's just about as big a rock as you can ever put in there. <laughs> Far. Okay, and then Good just job. mark this one as being full. Is that a coral on the corner there? An incidental sample on the basket. Oh. I was gonna say, yeah, what that's is what I was talking about. <laughs> oh. I, was, I saw this and I was like, <laughs> and you're like, no, no, that's that's the suction sampler. <laughs> and I thought it was a coral. Oops. Uh, oh well. No, the stock thing up there. That's not the suction sampler. Yeah, that that's a piece no, of. That's in there. A piece of coral in there. All right. All right, it wasn't crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about the hose sticking out. <laughs> no, I was like, all right, well, maybe there's a bungee on it. And that's no, that's no, that's definitely a right. sample. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to stay there for long. But. No. Let's see. It's hitching a ride. Someone's commenting that that coral's been there for a while. Yeah. Yeah. 
I noticed it a while back, but then I was like, oh, okay. That uh, might go back. not talking about it. Oh, I thought you were talking about the hose. It <laughs> might go back to that. Uh, <laughs> that so you didn't see anything. 3,500 meter high density uh, area. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that really de high density area that we saw down there. And then we have our sort of lull here, and I, I'm sure it's going to pick up, you know, after our watch. <laughs> coral right there. We're, we're getting into that good zone where the corals are going to start coming back in. We're seeing more of those Romilla Gorgia militaris. Yeah, it looks pretty steep right yeah. there. Yeah. Up. Star. Yeah, there's a few of them. Or there was on the way up. There's something little, right? Yeah, I think there might be a little cup coral. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Do you want to see it? Or? Uh, Could we sample it? Oh. That'd be a Is it, fly and that, grab, I think. Yeah, fly suck. Know, have we seen uh, ten of those? Because they're, they're like attached to the rock. Yeah, you just have to suction them. Sure, I think she heard you. Oh, uh, we can't take the full sample. Have we seen ten of those, Megan? Uh, I've seen a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah there's no way to subsample one of these. <laughs> no, it's only one polyp. Yeah. But a lot of these cup corals aren't very well known. So what's playing here? We're sucking that off? Yeah. So to like get the suction around it and kind of bump it. Should go right in. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can, you need to mm -hmm. pan down so you can see it. Maybe you'll pull them either three, one, those. A back. Sink it. Maybe we could get a zoom first. Let me uh, get set up here. Get it for what? Okay. All right, want to zoom in a bit there, Dave, before we get it? So I've seen a lot of these, or a couple. Yeah, I've seen a few of them. So this one has like that really skinny base. Sorry. So it might be like a Jabania, or a Caryophilia. What? I think that was a good enough look, Megan. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. We'll get some nice photos of it in the lab, too. 
So a lot of times to ID these things, you're looking at the plates that line up inside um, the polyp of the coral, which can be really hard when all of the tissue is Are sticking out. Are you just going to live fly in here? Is that your plan? I, I mean, Slurp 3 is available. Can we zoom out on that? Yeah, can you zoom out, Dave? Yeah, we gotta watch out for the camera. Yeah, okay, I'll come, on the, come around to this side, maybe. there oh well, yeah in close is not easier but okay that's all right so I can back out but shooting for so just so you're just flying it yeah you're not gonna land okay it's pretty vertical so I don't think I really can land without getting it too close like you were saying. okay we got sample jars lined up here slurp three is available you can put in slurp three I don't see that camera option Thank you. Which jar is that? It's flush. That's the flush so. jar. Can we zoom in on it some? Got it. Yeah. yeah. It goes in the jar. It's gonna make its way all the way through all that tube. There, there it goes. goes. Perfect. It. Nice. So, uh, Leilani, I would call this karyophilia. Karyophilia. That's C-A-R-Y-O-P-H-Y-L-L-I-A. -L -L gotcha. I'm ready to get going when you guys are. Yeah. Cool. Bridge nav. Can we get a 20 meter move north?
Looks like some current flow up here. We've got about 50 meters to the tippity top, so we'll probably get sedimenty again. Okay. Yeah, looks pretty flat for a while. Yep, then it's going to be yep. poop. Porch lights still on? Yeah. I'll kill them. Yeah, I've got lens flare. Too much light. I, I hate to say it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just light in the wrong place because I have a lens flare. In there. It's still there a little bit, Dave. Is that from this? Just extra lights? Yeah, I'm not sure. What's that little floater guy? You see it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I wonder if that is a sea dandelion oh, <laughs> maybe i don't know i don't think so no, not Looks quite more ball like yeah oh yeah like maybe a tina four. Oh, oh yeah it's a tina four cute little tina four. Oh. hi tiffany would be so excited she mm -hmm. would she loves tina four Oh, it's so cute. Did you know that Palmyra Atoll was first recorded in 1798? Uh, was that the... No, it wasn't that. That wasn't the exploration expedition, was it? I don't know. It just says by Captain Edmund Fanning. I don't know what expedition that was. It just says the person. Yeah. Hmm. That was a while ago. 1798. But it wasn't named until 1802. That's kind of cool. Fun an, facts. An American ship named Palmyra <laughs> wrecked here at the reefs. And that's why they named it Palmyra. Does Palmyra mean something? Just as, I don't think so. Just as the American ship Palmyra. I have to research that ship then. Bridge now. Let's do some Googling. I think that was <laughs> a, like another uh, 20 meter move north. A uh, city and Thanks. ancient Israel, maybe. I, I think it's uh, named in, it's a, like a biblical name. There was a U.S. in the, during World War II, there was a Navy ship called the USS Palmyra, but that's not what I want. Got a town in South Jersey called Palmyra. That's probably what it's named after. Yeah. <laughs> yep, see there's another one of those cup corals. Cup mm. corals that we sampled. They seem to like these little overhang areas. Nature Conservancy has a nice uh, write up on 175 years of science at Palmyra. Some observations of the Earth's magnetic field were made there.
Huh. Apparently there might be some buried treasure. <gasps> okay. On the <laughs> atoll. Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a fish. fish. It's gone now. What do we have there? Tunicate? Tunicate? Uh, it's probably a dead sponge. But there's a brittle star on it. Wanna zoom in there, Dave? Yeah, so this sponge was probably a Walteria. Yeah, the, the vase. But it is no longer hmm. amongst the living. But as you can see, even after these animals die, they are still providing structure and habitat in this environment. Good zoom, thanks. Do you want to do a little bit longer move? Yeah, it looks pretty flat yeah. for a while. Okay. Right. Yep. Yep. Bridge nav. Can we get a 50 meter move north? Where are folks tuned in from? Um, let me, I can look generally. Yeah. Um, mostly the U.S. and U.K., but mm -hmm. a few other European countries. Ah, across the pond. I guess it's not Norway. really across the pond anymore. <laughs> Norway, Germany, South Africa. Taiwan, Philippines, New Zealand. Wow. Yeah. Netherlands, Mexico. Good mix. Someone's in our chat saying they're from Nevada. Uh, we have Oklahoma. Yes, the uh, strange land of Oklahoma. <laughs> I'm not at the point of needing land yet, but I probably will. I'm like midway of not next week, the week after. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like on our way back? Like right before it. You're I'll right probably be like, <laughs> all right, I'm ready. <laughs> You're like, I'm ready. <laughs> Are you going on the next cruise? No. Okay. Don't Good. have time. <laughs> 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 nope, I'm going home. Um, 
Megan's coming out, right? Yeah, Megan Cook will be out instead of me. I gotta get married. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be ready to get home. <laughs> there was one year, a couple years ago, Megan Cook and I were both out and um, she, we uh, were only out for a week, but it was like a week or two before her wedding. Like it was that close. Oh wow. Well. It was, yeah, I at least am not that close, but I'll take my few months compared to her like a week or two that she had on her trip. That yeah. would be stressful. Yeah, that would be. Oh, she probably like built a house in that time frame. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the time. Oh, someone's tuning in from Philly. Ah, oh, I was just there in, uh, in, in December. I got a cheesesteak. It's really good. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that another tripod fish down there? Oh, yeah. Yep, it sure is. Good eyes, good eyes. Did you go to Pat's or Mike's? Uh, okay. Um, it was. <laughs> I can't remember which one it was. I don't know if I have that right yet or not. I don't know. But it was the one. <laughs> I know they're across from each other, so I don't know how to di differentiate the two. It was one that was kind of on like a corner. If that makes sense, like it had its own like little triangular corner, and then the other one is like on the block. Okay. So I didn't go to that one; I went to the other one. All right. My uh, colleague Ed McNichol, who's from Philly, would be uh, aghast. Ah. Uh, I just went to the one with the shorter line. <laughs> I love the scales on the tripod fish. Like I, I want that as like <laughs> the tiles in my bathroom. I feel like that same look would be really cool. <laughs> what a nerd. You can see the, the <laughs> what look like antenna on either side of its head. Those are the, the modified fins that guide food towards it. Yeah, I like its fins. Wow, that 4K. Uh, that's a good zoom. Yeah. Wow. You can see his little tiny little eyes. Nice. I'm to save my last shot, though. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not good enough. Didn't make the cut. Well, it's, you're it's almost at the hour mark, so you got to yeah. find one. How big faith. are those files? So Not sure. What? How big are the grabs? I'm not sure. Oh. But, like, gigabytes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone's tuning in from Germany. It's morning there. Right. <laughs> mm. Guten Morgen. <laughs> I almost said I'll be the same. No, not yet. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Stay here. Don't chase my way. <laughs> Don't leave yet. <laughs> People are jealous of the 4K views. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. I know. This is a test for everyone watching. We <laughs> are testing the system. So, unfortunately, you're not able to see it, but... If we like it, maybe later <laughs> we can do something with it. Um, but right now it's just testing to see how we feel. We might share some of it on social media, right? Yeah, I think so. It has to get sent back to shore first and our team will look at it and see what they want to do. I hope they share that the weird gastropod thing we were looking at. I did tag it, so I'm hoping so. 
If not, I will text them in the morning. Okay. <laughs> Urgent. Urgent. It was awesome. The Coralomorph was pretty cool, too. Yeah, that yeah. one was pretty cool. Different. Wait, is that a tunicate? Up center Where? screen? A little oh. later, sirs? Let's see. Good eye. Let's zoom in there, Dave. Got a sp oh. something in the foreground, too. Uh, yeah, or or is that what you were looking at? Yeah, I was trying to figure out which one you want. That looks like another one of those. Uh, oh. Yeah, is that another gastropod? No, it's not. It's not that gastropod thing that we're looking at or earlier. This was. This is a, a tuna kit, and it's on a stalk. It like makes its own stalk. It's really wild. So tuna kits are weird because they're actually in the chordata. So, when they're juveniles, they have a. Um, a notochord, so it's like our spinal cord, right? But then they lose that when they're adults. So this one's called Culeolis. Whoa, very cool. And then inside you can see there might be a little amphipods or something living inside of it. Those are those little pink things. And then on the stalk is a brittle star. Ooh. It kind of looks like that red dot looks like an eye, and the <laughs> opening kind of looks like a mouth. Yeah, it is kind of like a mouth. So tunicates have like two openings. They're really kind of wild creatures. They have two openings. One is for eating, and one is... Um, they move, they circulate water. So they're filter feeders, so they'll be like pumping water through their body and feeding on what moves through it. And these little fuzzy areas are corals as well, probably uh, Chrysogorgia. Pink fuzzies. They always look really fluffy. I got some tall ones there. in the distance there. Oh yeah. Off to the left. Oh, Leilani. Oh, there might be dog oh. sponge. Your boyfriend uh -huh. says hi. Oh. <laughs> Hello, William. Tuning in from Guam. Mm. He's saying hello from the future. Yep. <laughs> he is, actually. Tomorrow. <laughs> He's cooking dinner for tomorrow. Salmon <laughs> right now. Oh. <laughs> So we're coming up on this stock sponge. This is a colophagus. And you'll notice a lot of the animals down here tend to be up on stalks. And that helps them get them off the substrate up into where there's more turbulent flow, which brings more food to the animal. And this is right at that waypoint. Yep, we are at our waypoint five. And you know, this uh, sponge marks the spot. <laughs> it's like it knew we were going to be here. Yep. I was like, here we are. It's part of our uh, treasure hunt. Oh, Find I forgot all those about the treasure. treasure hunts. <laughs> There's another sponge. Might be a tree. I can't tell if it's flat or if it's a vase. I might be able to reach it. Get out to it. Emma, what's the plan for tomorrow? How long are we staying in? Uh, we're gonna stay down till noon. So the first half of our watch Team will be on the Blue floor. Water. <laughs> 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 
for the, for the second half will be blue water. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it won't take as long, though, as getting down, at least. Yeah. Oh, this looks like a regadrella, actually. Uh, zoom on that, Dave. So this is a glass sponge in the family Euplectelidae, and it is in the genus Regadrella. And inside, you might see some shrimps. <laughs> so a lot of times, you'll find a pair of shrimps that live inside these sponges. Uh, they can never leave. They enter when they're larva, and uh, they grow up and live together in these sponges, always a male and a female. Ooh. Are these the sponges that uh, you give to your lover? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a um, often a wedding present in Japan to give one of these sponges uh, as a wedding gift, sort of a symbol mm -hmm. of your everlasting love and staying together. Kind of feel sad for them though, because they just get yeah, stuck in there. They're kind of forced. Well, <laughs> it's like you know, <laughs> you've got this really nice house. No yep. one can eat you when you're in this house. Yep, I mean that's totally true. Home in there. How cute! So that is those yeah. shrimps are uh, called spongicola. Spongicola, fitting because they live in sponges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that like? greenish thing on top. Um, some schmutz. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a technical term. Bridge now. Can we get another 50 meter move north? Thanks. So we'll start coming down a bit after we uh, cross this topographic high. Down, then back up. Down into a saddle, and back up. So this move will bring us to the point where we're starting to slope down and then uh, you guys just let me know if you want to take slower steps if it's too steep. Uh, Asako uh, wants to know that uh, she's never seen this sponge as a wedding gift at real weddings these days. <laughs> yeah, well, I actually learned that fact from Asako. <laughs> <laughs> Which really surprised me. I'm like, I thought, oh, that's really cool. Like, I want a sponge yeah. as a gift. Like, I'd love that. Oh look, there's these uh, little halosaurs. Can we zoom one of them? Sure. Get down there. You always know they're halosaurs because they like have this posture when they're swimming with their tails up. They only move the end part. So this is a different species from the one they were seeing before, that white one. All right, where'd he go? Oh, there he is.
Can I zoom in on that, Dave? There. Another fish. Eel. So what I'm looking at is the top of its nose, and if it has scales on the top of its nose, it's called Halosaurus. If it doesn't, then it's Aldrovandia. Yeah, I don't see any scales, so this looks like uh, Aldrovandia. This is a Cuskiel? Uh. No, it's a Halosaur. Okay, what's the difference? So, um, Halosaurs uh, have those two pectoral fins that sort of stick upwards. They're very, very skinny. Uh, cusk eels are, have rounder faces that tend to be a little bit bigger bodied. They're in different orders. Okay. So the cusk eels are Neophytiformes and uh, I can't remember what the order is for the Halosaurus off the top of my head. Halosaurs are in the family uh, Halosauridae, and uh, Cuskeels are the Ophidiidae. Okay. But they do have very similar body plans. So you'll notice a lot of the fishes at these depths tend to have this eel-like um, body plan, mm -hmm. very skinny and long. Um, use that undulating tail motion to swim along. And they generally have this body form because it makes for really efficient, energy efficient swimming. Uh, it's slower swimming, but in the deep sea, things move a little bit slower. So you tend to just take your time to get places. But conserving energy is, is of a lot of importance because there isn't as much food down here um, as there is near the surface, and you want to make sure you're conserving your energy as you find your meals uh, instead of like needing to be able to swim very fast, like say a tuna would at mm -hmm. the surface. Yeah. There's That's, another fish. Yeah, That's a different fish. That might be your cuskiel. Uh, might be a good comparison. <laughs> or it's a rat tail. It's, a, it's one of those eyes. two. Yeah, it's a rat tail. And what's the difference between rat tail okay, and... Okay, so... <laughs> see this rat tail? This uh -huh. rat tail has... This is a Chorophenoides, and it has a dorsal fin. Okay. That sticks right up. It's triangular. Mm -hmm. Cuskeels do not have that dorsal fin. So that's your mm -hmm. first main indicator that this is a rat tail. And this one has a couple parasites on it. Might be isopods or copepods. Are they bad parasites or? Um, they don't harm the animal. They basically just sort of, they're like mosquitoes. They feed off the blood, uh, but they don't take too much. So it's not particularly taxing for the animal to have those parasites. We see them quite often. It might bother them, but I haven't been able to ask one to see <laughs> how much it, they are by, bothered by it. Hi, are you in pain? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Blink, <laughs> blink if you need help. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten. Yeah. Describe <laughs> your parasite. Well, looks like a bamboo coral down the slope. We've finished up our move. How much further down the slope? Um, it looks like it's going to be maybe uh, 1 to 30 meters down. So this is an unbranched bamboo coral. It's a really long one, too. Mary might be able to tell you what clade it's in, but uh, uh, well, I can look at this. Pretty close. Yeah. All right. We don't need to. That that was a good look at that. 
Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. So how far away from the next waypoint? Six. We are about 350 oh, meters away. Or uh, waypoint six? Yep. So isn't that like 196 meters in high pack? The target distance? Um, I'm measuring it it's, uh, 200 meters yep. from where Argus is right now. So Asako says in modern weddings today, you will still see some fish and lobster made of sugar as a Japanese style wedding decoration. Hmm. I love that. I want sugar lobsters and shrimps. Very different than in Mexico using sugar skulls for Day of the Dead. For what? For Day of the Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a little shrimp. How big, how big are these sugar skulls? Mm. I would say cobble size. <laughs> Bridge now. Get a fifty meter move three five zero. There's another tripod fish. We're getting into those fishy fish areas. I haven't seen so many tripod fish on one dive. Yeah, I know. It's a lot. Okay, well, let's see if we can get this one in the 4K. Right. We're doing it? Yeah. Last one. <laughs> get a good look at his head. That's a cool uh, brittle star next to it, too. Uh oh, oh no. no. <laughs> this one's not into the close up. Well, that's better swimming oh. than we've seen. That's all right. Yeah. Cool. No. We can keep moving. Uh. Ah. It's <laughs> not a very cooperative subject. What's that thing? Yeah, what is that? It's like a little dark thing. It's probably nothing. I know, but it's something against it's, the same it's sediment. It's rectangular, <laughs> so it's something. interesting. Don't be trash. Be an animal. It's not an animal. Eh. It's probably a rock. I think it's a rock. Oh, great. That's better. Yeah. Rock. 
Looks like there might be an urchin over there. Well, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. It looks really round. Yeah. I thought it was a pancake urchin, but uh. You got the porch lights on again? I don't see its little hooves, if that's what it is. Let's, uh, it's a really nice color. Let's try to center up the 4K on this one. <laughs> if we can. Uh, Mines are really I short. Might blow up some dust, but oh, oh boy, yeah, a little bit. This will be a cooperative subject. <laughs> Do it. Okay, everybody. I think this might be a kind of third aid. So in the the pancake urchin family. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. oh, it is. See, oh, you can see those hooves. No. Okay, never mind. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> I'm ready He's every time. Setting up for a better shot. <laughs> yeah, better yeah. shot. Okay, Dave. <laughs> oh, what? What's well, got like lots of record? things on it? Get the dust out. Did you get that earlier? I, I did not. Okay. okay, that's all right. Oh. Yeah. I can't tell if it looks more like a pincushion or a spaceship. It's a spaceship pincushion. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't need or to be or. It could be both. <laughs> oh, we could move on. So ah. This is likely a trombocosoma. So we didn't do it? Hispididum. No. Okay. We'll find something else. Okay. Or not at all. That's fine. Just Say making so. sure. Yeah. Are you documenting? What's yeah, I'm supposed yeah. to make a note of it in C log. We're keeping our own separate log as well. What was that? Video's keeping a log as well. Yeah. Good. I wonder what the bird situation is out there. I'm a little oh, nervous. No. I the next, I hope the next watch because they have to come in first before we leave. So hoping they scare them off. Yeah, send them off. <laughs> I like to think of birds as dinosaurs because they're descendants, but I'm always so surprised when I see birds acting so stupid. Mm -hmm. 
you've been around, <laughs> you've been around for so long and <laughs> you can't figure anything out. They're very graceful flyers. They just these ones like the red footed red footed boobies, they like are so floppy on land. They like are just yeah. very disoriented on land. <laughs> but they're really graceful when they fly. Amazing flyers. Yeah. So, I looked it up last night and the uh, the name booby is from the Spanish word bobo for stupid. Oh really? Ah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're cute birds, though. They're not my favorite bird, but they're not my least favorite bird. <laughs> What's your favorite bird? That's hard, um, because I had parakeets as a kid. So I feel like I have a special place in my heart for parakeets. Um, but favorite bird? Let me think. I don't know. Flamingos are also pretty cool, but like close. I don't know. Anytime you get really close to something, you get kind of like, like grossed out. <laughs> I don't know. Parakeets are like just really cute and small, and um, you can actually teach them to talk like you can parrots. It just takes them a little bit longer. Yeah. But yeah, I had five growing up. They probably don't regurgitate dead fish at you either. <laughs> no, no, they, they didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, and they rarely attacked me, so. <laughs> it's a big plus. I feel like these ones aren't purposely trying to attack. They just don't know, what's, they don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. They get really confused yeah, they're when so they land confused. on the ship. They just, like, don't know what to do with themselves. They want to get off. They just, like, don't know where to go. Yeah. Well, because they... <laughs> They're not super graceful on land or hard substrates like the ship. So like taking off, they're just calculating. You can just see it in their eyes. They're like trying to calculate how to get off the ship and it just seems too risky. So yeah, they, they don't know. Don't. They're confused. And I feel like we don't have a good runway for them to like <laughs> get their bearings to get off. Yeah, well, and sometimes the wind is really strong and they don't want to run into things. The ship has lots of, you know, hard spots to run into. Are there urchin to try there? Uh, well, only if it was like an un... Yeah, it's not particularly special. Urchin. Yeah. Maybe we could see like a C pen or or something. Probably harder to keep a C pin in focus all the way though, right? Yeah. If you're looking down on it. Oh yeah, that might be harder. You're right. What's going on over there? Is that a sponge? I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe one that fell over. Well, there are sponges that root in sediment. That might, this might be one of them. Um, 
We'll see as we get closer how it's attaching. So it might oh, have yeah. these long uh, okay. filamentous like uh, spicules. So we're actually like long pieces of glass. It has that one glass. like stalk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like the head of the sponge is sitting on these uh, long spicules that are acting like a stalk. So this looks like it might be in the family Pheromonidae, maybe something like Sericolopus. This one's a bit unusual. You can see that normally the uh, the attachment points, those spicules that root down on the sediment. Um, they tend to be more clumped together, and these ones seem a little more spread apart, which is interesting. And they tend to be, they're like originating from more than one spot on the sponge. Do we want to collect this? I, or? Don't, I don't think so. No? Okay. Yeah. Bob, someone's wanting to know, do the controls for the ROVs have forced feedback? Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sorry, oh. about the controls mean what? Um, someone's wondering if the ROVs have forced feedback. So can you um, maybe talk a little bit about how you like can feel what you're kind of feel, what you're uh, trying to pick no, up? The ROV doesn't have forced feedback. The craft manipulator has forced feedback, but we don't use it because it tends to just mess you up and not add anything to it. Mm. So. That would be interesting if the ROE had force feedback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know of any that do, but no. Yeah, other than manipulators. Uh, yeah. yeah. And trying to use 3D Ooh, doesn't work either. Good fish mm. is a good fish. <laughs> yeah. Like virtual reality? Yeah. Stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that just makes you very ill very have, quickly. Have you done it? Have <laughs> yeah, you tried it? Yeah. Yeah, when I'm moving ship, it's really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This might be Acanthonus armatus. <laughs> Is that? That's that fish that I was telling you about on the last cruise that has the funny name, <laughs> common name. Right. What, what, yeah. All right, well, the common <laughs> name for this fish is the bony-eared ass fish. It has the uh, smallest brain to body size ratio of any animal. Oh. Smallest brain? Yep. But its head was so big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a waste. It's full of bones. <laughs> I hence the name. <laughs> I 
There are a couple really uh, fun comics about it on the internet <laughs> for all those interested. That's Acanthonis armatus. And so that's actually a cuscule. So did you see that it didn't have a dorsal fin? Yeah, so I was trying to figure that out. We're gonna turn the geologist into a bi biologist. <laughs> and, by then the the and then the halosaur also doesn't have a dorsal fin, or it does? It does. But, okay. It was hard to see because we were looking down on it. And then the halosaur and the rat tail are different. Yeah, so the rat tail has that really tall triangular um, dorsal fin, and the halosaurs are very, very skinny. Okay. And we, then they yeah. usually like have hold their tails above their bodies while they're swimming, where the rat tails will just kind of be in a straight line. Okay. Are we done with our move? Yes, we are done with our move. I will keep us going. Bridge nav. Can we go 50 meters 350? My no nap today is catching up to me. Yeah, same. Me uh, slowly fading. <laughs> Coffee isn't doing what it's supposed to. <laughs> You're drinking it now? No, 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 no. I. I wouldn't go to sleep. I was like, wow, it's <laughs> impressive. No, I drank it at four. I timed it. But then I got really tired right after I drank it, so I went to lay down, but I couldn't, couldn't sleep. I forgot I signed up for that interaction. Oh, well, yeah, 5.30, Jake. Yeah. Fun. I don't know why you did. Yeah, wait, so <laughs> early. <laughs> That's why I didn't sign up for that one. <laughs> I got AM. I got guilt you know? into doing it. You did, no. Mark. Mark conned you into it. Yeah. Did you know it was AM? <laughs> I did know. Wow. So are we staying in the same area for the next dive? Uh, um. It's a good Steve's question. got some. Steve's got some locations that are within four or five hours of this site. So no, I don't think we we won't dive right here again we'll we'll uh we'll see uh take a look at the weather yeah i haven't looked at windy is it look like it's coming down everywhere or uh not mm. no not <laughs> yet <laughs> oh uh, no <laughs> yeah. later in the week uh it'll be coming down I mean, still looks meh. Yeah. yeah. At least it's not red. Yep. <laughs> oh. So we could be coming back. <laughs> <laughs> if this is the only place to go. I think Steve will try everything in his power to yeah. <laughs> try it somewhere. We've got a couple seamounts further south that might be okay. We have a viewer in the Netherlands who, it's the morning there, um, but wondering what we do for exercise on board because they just went for a run. Well, we have a gym. It's not very large, but we do have one. Um, there's an elliptical and a treadmill, which is iffy if the <laughs> your ship's moving. There's, an um, erg there's weights, there's an erg machine. I chase birds. Emil chases <laughs> birds. 
I so, like to eat to get the digestive yeah. <laughs> muscles moving. Some people bring yoga mats and do yoga either in the gym or outside. So you can kind of do a few things. We got lots of stairs. Lots of stairs. Yeah. I like to think. Work your Coralie's working the brain. <laughs> the brain muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting in and out of my bed when I'm doing the dog bunk. <laughs> oh, <my> yeah. <laughs> I gotta like engage my core, make sure I'm not hitting my head at the top. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah, and those I do first over couple 10, nights. 10,000 steps a day. <laughs> yeah, this is a. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, it's a crab with an anemone again. Zoom in there quick, Dave. Yeah, it looks like a, a hermit crab. Yeah. You see this anemone just engulfs its Very body. Cool. So it's. Acting like a shell. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, so this is the same one, the same kind that we saw just sort of running last, just like, what, a couple hours ago? Nice shot. Yeah. Clever little guy. Yeah, Very fashion claw. forward. Yeah. yeah. Like this is look. a really nice anemone. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> that's cool. And that's the so anemone cool. cool. <laughs> How they do they move. acquire the anemones? Like, how does this? Yeah. How does this happen? It's <laughs> <laughs> two that's animals a good question. acting like one animal. That is so strange. Right. And like the big, vast, like sedimenty landscape. It's like, how do you find this crap? Yeah. And how do you? Yeah. So we learned on the last cruise that they can actually jettison their. Um, Associate. Oh yeah. Wait, what? what now? Yeah. So we went to go collect one of those, and it had a zoanthid on the back, and uh, got it with the suction sampler, and it just just dropped. It's a uh, associate. It just started swimming. Wow. On its own. Well, ditched it. Hit the eject ditched button. Ditched it. Yeah. Hit the eject button. Friends until you're <laughs> not. Uh, but Trevor took it as a personal goal to collect it. Yeah. So both pieces. Wow. We, we ran around for a while <laughs> trying to catch it. Yeah, I was like, you get 100 points. But did you notice that the, uh, the right claw was larger than the left claw? Yeah. yeah. A lot. So... Some hermit crabs have larger right claws, some crabs have larger left claws, and that gives you an indication of what family they're in. So that was a parapagurity. <laughs> There's some really weird little traces in this sediment. You see like these little like dots. Yeah holes like burrows or something you must be yeah, if we could take like a core or something of the sediment you'd find lots of little invertebrates living in here churning up the sediment eating all that good organic matter that's down here should we should you eat should we t take a core <laughs> should we take I don't want to eat some sediment. <laughs> Should we eat some sediment? <laughs> We'd have to core it first if we wanted to eat it. <laughs> Fair. Which brings me back to my first question. Should we <laughs> core I, I don't know. Um, that's not a question for a biologist. Emil? <laughs> a core here? Yeah. yeah. Do we need one? Thoughts? I mean, I don't know what anybody's going to use it for. That's why I asked. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes Adam says it's fun to Let's look for look for things in mm -hmm. there. Let it dry out and do. He kept telling me on the last cruise that you can like take the sand and then you dry it or you sieve it. You do something to it and then you find and then you find something else. He made it sound really fun. I forgot <laughs> what exactly the steps were. But. Oh, okay. I don't know if this sediment would stick in the tube, though. It seems a little fine. fine. Too, too, uh, it's not sticky enough. What's that? It's a sea cucumber. It's 
So that's another one of the sea cucumbers in the family Synalactidae. Are, are those those uh, purple colored ones? Yep, the purple colored ones. They'll range in hue from purple to pink. And if we uh, disturb it enough, it'll start swimming. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yep, there it goes. Challenge oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, he's pretty flat. It's a it very good. flat one. Wow. Yeah. I was not expecting him to be like that. Whee. It's very lazy. Yep. <laughs> it's just going to land where it goes. Yeah. It's like, don't you guys know it's almost Usually they, they do really? their crunches. Yeah. Um, and that's how they swim. This one's not super motivated. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back to bed. It's playing dead. Yeah. It's like, nope, I'm not worth anything. Just keep going. Ooh, that's Ooh. a nice Ooh. anemone. Ooh. So if we could like look straight down onto the oral disc area, see if there's a ring of tentacles in the middle. That would indicate that it is a serianthid or a tube anemone. If there isn't, then it's just a regular anemone. Yes, yeah, so I'm not seeing that second ring of tentacles around the mouth. So it's a tube anemone. So it's not a tube oh, anemone. Not a tube anemone. If there is two rings of tentacles, then it two is. Yeah, identifying anemones can be pretty tricky. Uh, a lot of taxonomists count the mesenteries and look at the mesenteries, which are internal structures of these animals. So it's impossible to count and observe those in situ. Another way is to count tentacles, which that can be challenging mm -hmm. on the fly. But still a lot needs to be learned about some of these deep sea anemones. They're hard to collect because uh, it's hard to preserve them well enough to ID them once they get back. You can't just preserve them in ethanol? No, if you preserve them in ethanol, they tend to sort of dissolve. Oh. You need to fix them in formalin, which then um, makes it impossible to do any sort of DNA analysis. Uh, so you'd have to do the analysis right away? Yeah, you'd have to take a subsample if you wanted to do a DNA before you fixed it. But you need to fix it if you want to be able to see those internal structures. Oh, kind of feels like a catch-22. Yeah, it kind of is. So with the uh, turnover enough. coming up, let's, let's hold, are you stepping? Can we do 50 meters north? Oh. Nope, she is uh, now. I'm just wondering, um, Nav, maybe we could hold position here and then uh, try a couple push course. Okay. Yeah. Um, bridge, Nav, can we have a hold on that ship move? And then we'll, uh, that might be a good way to turn over. You want me to just sit down right here? Yeah. Yeah, they want to okay. stop and sample. So let's hold. Thanks. Someone's also wondering what like all this darker stringy looking stuff is like darker sand darker sediment so that's phytodetritus so that's bits and bobs that have come down from the surface water and are, that's what their sea cucumbers and other animals are looking to eat mm. Now, a dive plan calls for paired push cores. <laughs> paired right. push cores. Okay. So I guess we take two. We need one, two. One for geographic preservation and one and for the in fauna. fauna analysis. Yeah. Yeah, we Yeah, two. Two different cores. I have to oh. say, we did pretty good sampling yeah. this watch. Definitely <laughs> made <laughs> made it worth our plenty of rocks. <laughs> good coral, uh, cup coral. Yeah. 
So we'll see if we can get, if we can get one, then we'll get two. So is this mark in the background? Is that one of those whale marks or just an indentation in the... Um, that looks too small. So we can go to the sample. So sample. Okay. Whale mark would be like a, a few meters. Oh. Yeah. All right, let's see. Hey, I gotta push that drawer All the push a cores bit. are open. So we could start with six and then go to okay. five for the second sample. So. Which one should, which one should I go for? <laughs> so the easiest one to do is the, the one up front. Okay. Six. But I hate those, oh. those kind of cores. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta do them. Yeah, horizontally. You can't go oh, from the yeah. top. So, is the front to back one to six, or is the front one? Um, I, I can't. I can't read the number on it. Is this your first ever push core, Jake? No, I've done a couple. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You're gonna rip the top right off that thing. That's so I don't like grabbing those things because yeah. you can't grab it lightly. You know, you can't come over and just hold it lightly to pull it out. Here, let me. So, but the balls, the balls are easier with the it's just farther back there. intermission jaws. But it's harder to get the back ones. <laughs> So you, so oh. I would I would not grab the ball like horizontally. I would grab it more from the top, because then it can kind of like, it kind of hangs loose. Oh, you so just, you can just kind of bring the fingers around it loosely, and then when you bring it up, you don't force the top. You know, it can swing. So just oh, so not get away and then go like the other way. This way, swing the. <laughs> you want to go wrist down, elbow up, you know? Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Oh, from the top. Like, from that way, yeah. But it's, it's hard to get the back ones because yeah. of the reach, you know? Be better if you could zoom in on the thing. <laughs> I know. Ooh. Nice. nice. Five. Got. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. What does it feel like, Jake? <laughs> uh, <laughs> vehicles moving a little bit. Huh. It's not really what I was expecting. So you gotta let go of it, okay, and then get let go of it, leave it standing there, and then close the jaw yep. all the way push, up and push, push it push. from the top. That way, you won't, you know, you won't oh. fall off to the side. You can have them zoom in; it'd be easier. Yeah.
The sand is really dense. Yeah, this is not what I was expecting. There might be rock underneath it, and it's just a thin layer of yep. sediment. Could also be. I don't know how much farther I can get. Yeah, move the vehicle. Should I try to pull it? It's not there really a good there. core. All right, I can try one more time then. <laughs> oh. Lovely. Just the smell I want to leave here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it seems like it's going down so. Yeah, slowly yeah. but surely. Yeah. Will it stick? I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're getting deeper. <laughs> I am, slowly. <laughs> okay. You're driving us off, you gotta okay. let go. See, that way, so when you let go that way, then the vehicle can plant again. If you're attached to it, you'll just roll right over it, you know? Good, right? I'm not a good scientist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if that's, yeah, that looks like it's as far as it's going to go, huh? You got to yeah. get around the rod. Oh, I, I wasn't around it. There you go. Oh, oh. Good. Okay. Um, so we're holding station. They're attempting to good. do a push core. I've added a sample count oh, to out. our board. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it's falling out. Yeah. Oh. yeah so I, I dropped one there for this. Slowly. I'm not sure if it's going to stay in the tube. Um, so I just have push core right now. While we work yeah, on the pushed tube. That's all right. Tube. That's we uh, like Ooh. Oh. Then I switched over to 50 because that was a See how much magical. is left by the time we get it. <laughs> I know. I don't know. It looks like it's Ooh, sticking. it's yeah, sticking. Not bad. Do it. I'm impressed. I didn't so think it was going to stick. While we do this, we're also in the middle of a watch change, so some of us are switching out. Uh, thanks for sticking with us, and 12 to 4 is hey. on their way. Well. It might help if I push the box out more, okay. actually. Uh oh. Did it fall Can't out? I not see anything. I think it might have. It might have fallen out. It's because I wrote Oh, oh yeah. bummer. <laughs> oh, All that for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> It all slip out. Futile oh, okay. effort. I totally thought it was going to stick. All right. Yep. Yeah, I know. That's not what I want. OK. 
cool. <laughs> All right. So, well, it was worth a shot. Uh, I'm gonna go up. Yeah. No idea. Okay. 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 That ain't. Nope. Makes it easier. Easier on me. Whew. I know. That was tough. 